I mean, I could go into it, but the stream's starting, so... All right. Yes, pending that okay, until post-stream this discussion. Going to and be... Selkie massive. has shifted... Why are you not on screen at all? Oh, you slid all the way to the left on your screen. That's okay. That's... You're like, you're like, just... What the fucking... No. Oh, yeah, this... now I see it. This... Ah... I've made mistakes, but there's too many cool shit I want to do. Oh, I have uh, the wrong alarm set. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, I need to amend that. God, I'm gonna be my alarm so... just went off, and I'm like, what's going on here? I'm going to be um, so bummed if none of you go to the basement. Wait, what? <laughs> Nothing. So um, Selkie's working on some uh, right, kinky right. shit tonight. Um, on that note, tonight's episode is titled "The Good, the Bad, and the Furry." <laughs> 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 scary you know they started with the croc to pussy and i've just decided i'm gonna lean into it from here on out so um <laughs> i forgot about the croc to pussy uh the croc to pussy they they can blame tonight we delve deep into themselves. the croc to pussy oh yeah <laughs> we explore her depths no <laughs> next week's session is uh where it devoured a big hunk of wood right uh next next week's session is the heart in the dark and the flesh in the light I'm kidding. The what? <laughs> Please keep that second title. Please keep that <laughs> second title. Flesh I will light. not. <laughs> Damn it, Mark. The session. flesh the and the uh, I have all right, well, bye. a little too hard to the sun. <laughs> yep. Yes, you all have. It is your own fault. Now I'm going to Let's lean into go! it. Let's go! I have girl queen pussy bossed a little too close to the sun, and I regret my decision. <laughs> I took a calculated risk, but damn, I'm bad Man, at math. I'm bad at math. I'm that is me. So bad at math right now. Why? I'm trying to fill up all the spaces. Understanding, I will not be able to fill up all the spaces. Eh, there, there we go. It's not... If y'all don't go to the basement, I'm going to be so upset with you. So don't Anymore. go to the basement. That's... All right. No, I'm going to beat your ass personally. Thank Rude. You. Rude potato. All right. Uh, so, uh, welcome everyone. When we last left off, uh, Marcus uh, was in a showdown with an archfey. He's faced down an arch de devil, now an archfey, and he's he's encountered a uh, goddess as well. So we got celestial fey and fiend. We now need an arch demon. Almost fiends. Uh, no, no, he faced off. He won with the banishment. Um, so now we just need to pit him against um, Eldritch Horror, um, uh, ancient beings. Ancient I mean, wood, isn't Proteus horror. just a little Eldritch Horror to him? No, he's more along the lines of uh, devils, demons, etc. Oh, but yeah, good. No, I, 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 I meant specifically to Marcus. Uh, isn't he? A, that isn't that what he uh, is to him? Yeah, that's fair. Oh, no. Wait, what, Mark? Did I pick Wait, up did I ever... I'd... He's a little Eldritch Yeah. <laughs> He's a prop. Okay. I don't know why that sounded like Jack Black from Pick of Destiny. I'm sorry. <laughs> not Jack Black. Way down south in Kickapoo. Not not Jack Black from uh, Mario. No. I mean, they're all Jack Black. All so, Jack Black. and Jack Black really mm. doesn't change himself at all. Jack Black is one of few people who can get away with it, though. Chris Chris Pratt, not one of them. That's true. true. Because Jack Black can get away with it because he is an actual cartoon character. He is, yes. I strive to he live is. with Jack Black energy. Honestly, you got the beard. I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Any So, when we last left off, Sir Wellington looked at Elfdeen, the Archfey go goddess who is, is with them, 
um, whose daughter, I should say, Callie has been trying to fuck lately. Um, <laughs> and hey, yo, <laughs> relax. Yo, it is. It is Getting a, a kiss is, is, is like it is a romance. next level shit. This is not this is not Selkie's typical character. She's just getting she's getting kisses. That's what she's trying to do. Boy, the kids I grew up around were interesting. They were getting pregnant in fifteen. A lot of them. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Anywho. So, Any. We will have none of that, Callie. You behave. I don't know. That's entirely up to you and the dice, apparently. <laughs> No, no, this is entirely in your control. I blame Corinne on you. Anywho, what? anywho. <laughs> yeah, okay, Ian's we're gonna like, get to that. that in. Yes, we're gonna get to that Sir in Wellington the chat. has anyway. just announced that he needs to tell them something very important, but we'll be getting back to that in just a moment. So, we <laughs> want to strangle me yet, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like I'm just like I don't I this set this session is either gonna go really well for me or really poorly for me. Mm-hmm. There's not a whole lot of in between. Yep. So to start off, <coughs> um, Matt, heads or tails? What is this? What the fuck? No, you you're, you're you are making the decision as which uh, group goes first. Obviously, no. that's what he's doing. No, oh, this mind. is not Markham. This is this is Markham. There's some shit hidden in his non-existent sleeve. I didn't see if it was short sleeve or not, but heads or tails. Uh, I have the quarter he does, here. Uh, he okay, have... let's go heads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I like let's, heads. Let's... All right, that's Let's a head. head. Oh, yes, yeah, it I is. got head. Yes, yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I'm going to eat the coin and see ya. Please. My nephew did that last month, and my oh. sister sent me the x-rays. That poor digestive oh, system. Coin? He, ate, he put a quarter in his mouth Uh-oh. because he wanted to hide it from his parents because he wanted to use it for their gumball machine at home that they used to reward him with. Oh my. <laughs> and he ended up swallowing it by accident. And oh, when he started throwing genius. when when he started throwing up, uh his dad was like, "Ah, did you do you have like stomach problems?" He's like, "No, I ate a co- I ate a coin." Oh, and no. he, and they're like they rushed him to the hospital. It's a miracle it did not block his like airway okay. because like the thing like legitimately was like fully covering his like uh esophagus. esophagus. Like it was like it was Aww. stuck there and it was slowly it like ever slowly made its way down into the stomach and then they had to operate on him and to oh get it out. Oh gosh. Oh wow. So lesson kids, don't eat quarters. Yeah. Unless they're made of chocolate. That's the lesson. Unless they're yeah, made of chocolate. I, yeah. I, I, I messaged my sister. And I was like, well, hopefully that teaches him not to put anything in his mouth that shouldn't be in there. Right. Wow. How, like yeah. a full-blown operation, like surgery to get it out? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Like they had to do surgery because otherwise, like going out, it, like, oh, it would have messed up stuff. That's terrifying for a kid. Yes. <laughs> now yeah. I have that song stuck in my head. What song? Okay. I, was, I was bored and kind of horny. Thought I'd... Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? Never mind. Anywho. How let's see how connect? bad. I don't get. Okay. I don't know. Marvel Y'all were talking about Elder's connect. Horrors, and then I immediately defaulted to Elder's Horror. We were, were a few conversations past that, Selkie. Listen, it's been stuck in my head. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> As long uh, as as long as Marcus doesn't view Sir Wellington as that kind of elder tour, that's all I'm oh saying. Gosh. Oh gosh! No, no it's the one where he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna cast Guiding Light on your ass." That's the kind of elder tour. Oh, oh boy! That's so when he meets the fae, the you know, fae goddess. Anyway, he got, he got the head. Yep. Yes, head. The head. First thing you see when you appear there, you turn around. There's a undead servant. Who turns and looks at you and proceeds to step aside and kind of bow politely like it does did last time you were there but uh, uh, and 
if I remember correctly, he has two kids with him, right? Two of the teenagers. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's gonna just because if I remember correctly, he has his shield up. He's just looks at it, looks at the kids. All right, just stay behind me, okay? And he's going yeah, sure to. Thing. Uh, all right, and he's gonna like sort of gesture them to follow him, and he's just gonna like do like this just facing the undead thing with the shield while also looking to make sure like there isn't anything else that's going to fucking attack give me a perception check and roll well my oh, good man holy shit that is a fucking nat 20 well right. he rolled well <laughs> so that's a 29 total he definitely this rolled well disgusting. well um, you, you see, see nothing. <laughs> you you see, see absolutely everything nothing. Everything is fine and dandy until you walk into the house and the house is a giant mimic. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. It was a mimic all along. <laughs> the entire I mean, continent please. was a mimic just biding its time. That is actually fucking terrifying. To think about. Please don't go that route from Tasha's. Well, that's an actual thing. Does she, does she actually have a continent? There's there's a whole there's a whole section in Tasha's Cauldron of everything with like m- like how to do mimics differently with like mimic yeah. houses, all this other stuff about doing mimics. Huh. It's I thought, yeah, I thought you were aware of that. No, I I I own a bunch of books. I have never read any of them. Good job, Mark. You haven't even flipped through them. I flipped for through them. one of yeah. them. Markham, you pay 30 bucks for them. I Just flipped through and look at the them. pictures. How did you not see the one, then with the mimic house? It's I don't literally own got... Tasha's. Oh, well, that... Markham. So maybe start with that next time. <laughs> when I mentioned Tasha's and you're like, well, I didn't know that. I own a bunch of the books. And then you're like, <laughs> I've just never read them. And you're like... Yeah, that makes me assume you have Tasha's. You've just never read Tasha's. Nah, uh, never. No, yeah. Okay, Markham, what do I see with the nat 20? Uh, this, with a natural uh, 20, you see... What is that? I don't know. You're the DM. I see. What is that? No, it's Sam. Huh. Okay. Don't. We're good. Shut up. Um... Uh, thank you. I won't shut up. Um, don't shut up. Stop I'm in it. sassy mood again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, you see, as you as you kind of like go through the bedroom and out into the hall, you hear a noise, and you look back behind you, and you see a uh, a number of imps dart around the corner. Do they look? Do they look friendly? No, not really. I'm mad. Okay, I figured as much. Just think of asking too much. Asking too much. Matt, uh, how many imps look friendly to you? <laughs> I mean, depends on the anime. Anyway. <laughs> hey, yo. Well, Sir Wellington looked imp for a while. It looked friendly for a while. No, yeah, he's definitely right. a gnome, though. Yeah, no. Uh, how many are we talking here? About three, but they are going the other way. Oh, so they, they haven't like they're seen us running yet. from you. No, they saw you. Oh. Wait, they're running from me? Yeah. Marcus is scary. Wait. <laughs> okay, so Marcus is going to turn, like, be absolutely like, oh, shit, I had to fight and see him running. He's going to look at the direction where they're going. Look at the <laughs> kids. Did did y'all do something to scare him off? Nope, didn't do a thing. What? He's going to look. Just like, Marcus now he's scary as hell. He's going to look down and go, Huh. All right. Didn't I'm know. Different. Didn't know I was here. Well, to be fair, I don't know. Maybe he was running. Oh, shit. Are they running from something else? Oh, dear Lord. Please tell me they're not running from something else. He's looking behind him like, okay, no, there's no one else. No, no one else. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Let, let's keep going. I guess. Huh. Everything's fine. Everything he's... is awesome. I'm sorry. No, he's gonna just go out and go, alright. So, we got an issue now where we have to 
I can go back to the Fate Wow to get everyone. Fuck. Well, if anyone survived. Well, as long as, and I think, as I think he will, because Fate rules, as bullshit as they are sometimes, they are binding. As long as I said, as long as I said what I said, he can't do anyone to anyone who was under my leadership. But he's gonna like get this sad look, and he is actually. Hold on, let me. Oh, yeah. No, I was making a wisdom saving throw to see if he. Uh... Yeah, no, he he is mad. <laughs> He is mad that Sorsha is now a golden statue for the fucking fake king. Uh, and he, like, full-on punches a wall. He, or he big mad. He big mad. Oh, he big mad. He, 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 he big rolled mad, a fucking... Man. He rolled a nat one. He rolled Ooh, a fucking nat one. He is... Ooh, he's furious. He is not in control of his emotions furious. So I imagine, like... It looks like he's about to cast Sacred Flame, but then he just punches it and it just disperses over the wall. Yeah, the kids look a little bit scared. Um, I'm sorry. Shit. No, you're not, Angie. Embrace we'll the anger. We'll save them, all right? They'll be safe. We just... Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's let's get out of here. We need to make sure you two are safe at least. Come on. And he's gonna walk down where he remembers is the way out. While also keeping a uh, lookout for uh, any sort of creatures or demons or devils attacking them or something like that. Or right. going to. All right, so the two you have with you is the Hobgoblin teen Winston and the, the full-on goblin uh, Dinya. So Dinya yeah. and Winston are the two All right. that made it out with you. Um, roll a – let's do a history check. All right. Okay, not bad. Uh, smart because it's history. Okay, 19. As you recall, these two were two of the more mischievous teens who did a lot of pranks with Sir Wellington. All right, good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were uh, rather on the not-so-well-behaved part of, of the spectrum. Yeah, he's just going to... That's just... part of the spectrum? Day. Yeah, there's, new there's, there's well behaved new, all the way. New to spectrum not well unlocked. <laughs> new, new nickname unlocked. unlocked. New it nickname is, unlocked. New it spectrum is, unlocked. It is called um the behavior, the well behaved spectrum. No, um, no, careful. it's got to be. Let's see, it's got to be a. It's got to be an ism. Um, behavism. Does it? No, actism. The well, the Wellingtonism. <laughs> Wellingtonism. The Wellingtonism. Yes. Wellingtonism. Wellingtonism. They're on the Wellingtonism yes. spectrum, from well behaved to not well behaved. <laughs> um, they're they're tending towards the not well behaved side of the Wellingtonism spectrum. Fair enough. He's just gonna just yes. kind of look at him and just kind of smile and just kind of move forward. Just like, uh, you know, Get my fucking eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually couldn't say. You know, when we were back at camp and that weird devil town. You guys were little shits, but I'm honestly glad you're here. Thanks. Um, thanks, I oh. guess. The, uh, oh. didn't you just kind of like, she's got her arms crossed. She's a little bit skeptical of you. <laughs> no, no, no. Believe me, I, Bust. I can't tell. Well, that's not true. Apparently I was able to tell a lie to the fucking Faye. Over. I still don't know how I pulled that off, but. Look, it's better to be with people that – it's better to be with people than be alone. So. Hey, don't worry about it, man. And uh, Winston has just like kind of grabs you around the shoulder and he's like, listen, my little sis is back there. We'll get her out. We'll get the others out. He's waving his sword around. He's like, 
and we're gonna kill all these bastards. We got this. I mean, you did get that one thing good with the arm. I did, didn't I? Woo! <laughs> uh, Wait, what I did? All right. Yep. The fat with the jot. Oh, yeah, I did. Mind. That was a good thing. No, wait. Yep, that was me. I should be proud of that moment. And he, like, puts the, the sword over his shoulder like you're not supposed to do, by the way. No one ever put yeah, the blade over his shoulder. Yeah, you are not supposed to do that. <laughs> and he's gonna a just... overly dramatic look into the middle distance. He's just going to look at this and go, uh, he's going to just lift up the sword from her, from his shoulder. You're not supposed to do nope. that. My sword, not yours. I don't want your sword. I'm not good with swords. Then why are you touching it, man? It's my sword. Because... Because you're not supposed to put the play on it right back on his shoulder. You know what? Never mind. How? Uh, I cut myself. Him, what yeah, the heck? Let him cut himself. Yeah. It That's will be a question. Why didn't you tell me I was cutting myself? That hurt. Oh, God's above him. Well, yeah, Dad. Here. He's going to just. Dad. Here. He's going to toss. He's going to grab the. Uh... Since he cannot be trusted with a bladed weaponry now. He is going to, like, grab the uwu hammer and, like, Ooh. switch it out. Just go, here you Ooh. go. That'll be better for you. Uwu? 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 He's just swinging it now. You've you've created a problem. So as you walk down, you are hearing, uwu? 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 Does does uh? <laughs> you are having too much fun. And it's like higher or lower pitch based on how fast or slow he's swinging it. So it's like, <laughs> please the tell me though when it actually like makes contact, it goes. <laughs> yes, that is what it does. Uh, does uh, I guess we'll find out when you enter combat later. <laughs> does uh, Dina have any weapons? Dina, she's got a dagger. Dina. Okay. Yeah, no. She, he's going to just look at the dagger and go, you aren't going to cut yourself like him? No. All right. And he pulls out the two. I might cut him, and... though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is eyeing him like if he keeps swinging that I might cut him, though. <laughs> no. No, that is, not, that is not the violence I will tolerate now. If anything attacks us, that violence I will tolerate. By the way, He's gonna it's pull. Good. It's called sibling rivalry. He's gonna not pull out the related. two hand axes, because I assume the dagger is definitely not magic and is you not that good against any magical creature. So he's just gonna grab it, grab the giant slayer axe, hand axe, and the plus one hand axe, and give it to her. And go here you go. I have to figure these are a little better. She immediately topples over. Wait. Oh, never mind. All right. Uh, okay, he, I I, all, I only can carry one of these. Wait, all right. Did you say a great axe or no hand axe? Hand axe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, to her, there are great axe and a great sword. Oh, she's geez, like a sixteen-year-old okay. goblin, so she's smaller than a normal oh, goblin. That's true. <laughs> and these okay. are built for an adult human-sized creature. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, poor baby. So you okay. basically gave her a great sword and a great axe simultaneously. <laughs> isn't okay, one of those one? Isn't one of those require attunement though? Oh yeah, it does. Never mind. Okay, he's just gonna give because if it requires attunement, wouldn't it resize itself to fit the person then? Well, it does. Tuma it takes yes. an hour though to do it. Yeah, do but, but still. So mm -hmm. he's so gonna have like a great axe for a bit. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna see that, and he's gonna realize, oh shit, little goblin child. <laughs> he's gonna just. All right. <laughs> oh all right, no! What have I done? He's like, all right. Uh, he's gonna grab the giant slayer hand axe and put it back. He's like, here, you can have this one. He just helps her like actually hold the hand axe. All right. How does that feel? It's not too bad. All right. It doesn't make any noise when I swing it, does it? She's just glaring. It, it does not, no. <laughs> Good. Better not. So I'm coming it does for not. you. Uh, I got a lot of things coming for me. You're going to have to get in the back of the line. I'm small. I'm quick. 
I will get to the front of the line. See, that's that is, I like that enthusiasm. <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> As you turn around, the three imps you saw running away are now in front of you, hiding behind several larger devils who have their uh, weapons drawn. Well, hi there. I guess they were afraid of me, huh? He's like a little proud of that, that the devils were afraid of him. Anyway, uh, hi. Trust me, we do not want to be here either. We want to skedaddle. So if you can just move out of the way and you can act like none of this happened. You come into our home, eat our food, and banish our master. You're a dead man. Does it help to say that he attacked me first? Roll initiative. <laughs> okay. He's going to immediately cast. Uh, how big is the... Uh, how big is the hallway the hall? we're in? I mean, your average hallway. Maybe a little bit more of a high ceiling. But okay. it's like uh, you can fit three people side by side in it. So Okay, what, hold on. Let me 10, just 15 see feet wide maybe at most. Uh, D and D rules fifteen feet wide. Yeah, in D and D rules fifteen feet wide. <laughs> in reality, probably more like nine feet wide. That's fair enough. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little thing. Uh, did he notice a way back that is around these guys? Like, if they double back and go another way, will they be able to get out? Um. Give me a perception check. Okay. 23. Okay, yeah, you turn around, there's more blocking the other way. Wait, there's more blocking? Yeah. You got they they're coming from both ends. They're trying they're sandwiching you in the middle. We're still by the room, right? No, you guys have been walking for a little bit. You're in one of the hallways. So it's just me and two teenagers I just gave magical weapons to. Yep. Against most likely a dozen demons or devils. Eh, no, there's about eight. Four on each side. Well, yeah, 12, th 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 11 if you count the three imps, but they don't look like they want to fight. They're just the messengers. So the other ones want to fight. Oh, yeah. Uh... They're bigger, they're beefier. I need to look up what they are. <laughs> Oh, that's fair enough. Uh, does it look like he could take these guys or no? Roll me an intelligence check. Uh, okay, hold on. Come on. Okay, 19. All right. Oh, wait, unnatural 20, because I have a plus one. I forgot. Marcus is kind of smart. Unnatural 20. Yeah. Not bad. Is that, I do have a few spells I could use, but... Oh, boy. Mm. The heck? Unnatural 20, you said. Um, you're not entirely sure. You've never faced these off, uh, off with these in particular. Um, I would actually recommend doing a religion check. You could, Ooh. you could probably hold your own. You're what, All level right. 11 or 12 now? Uh, level 10. Level still. 10. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you that's, us... you haven't given us any recent level ups. Well, you guys, guys have been very slow at getting through this last arc. <laughs> Uh, Remember, it's been on. a week. <laughs> uh, religion is... Well, we kind of had to plan a party, Markham. Uh, it's... <laughs> uh, had to plan it's a, party. a 21 for religion. 21? Yes. He is church boy. Fair enough. All right. How's our little altar boy doing? Little altar boy. 
So. No, not that one. I need this stat block. Thank you very much. Um, there it is. Okay. Um, so two of them appear to be what you're familiar with as uh, a species called chain devils. Um, they're humanoid size, about six feet tall. Um, they look kind of like humans with braided hair and beards, uh, except they have red skin and, and claws instead of regular nails. Um, and they are covered in chains that they can animate and weaponize. The chains are almost like a, an extension of their bodies that they're able to um, control with their minds. Uh, the other six are Narzugans. Um, they're also about six to six and a half feet tall, um, clad completely in spiked metal armor with dull grayish skin and glowing orange eyes. Um, these you recognize as former paladins who in life had made deals with arch de arch devils and in turn their souls are turned into Narzagons upon death. Their souls are claimed and they're transformed into the Narzagon devils. So they have all the abilities of a paladin, except inverted. So we got chain guys and undead and evil paladins against a cleric and two children. Yes. That that they want to kill us, right? Or uh, they just... don't seem to care about the kids. You're their target. Oh, you got a you got a bounty on your head. Oh yeah. <laughs> You, okay. you you banished their their lord their their god essentially right back to a, a plane he worked for millennia to get out of and has that thrived is... here for millennia and you just yeeted him okay but why uh... would they why would they really care now that proteus is in charge <laughs> maybe they're a rebel cell against proteus bastards man he hasn't even been in charge for longer than a week and he's already got a revolt yeah. you're a shitty leader wait wait mark marcus remembers proteus right yeah like he remembers the fact that okay good the, i yeah, just want to make well, sure yeah that was like well for you it was like two days ago now yeah for okay for he's been... cali it was like a day um but for you, it was a couple of days because you were a couple of days in the Feywild. Um, Callie was like half a day in the Feywild and then right back here again. So, Fair. Callie, it's not even been a day. All right. Uh, okay. He's And he would know about demon feuds and all that. Like, mm -hmm. just power plays. You go, wait, 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 wait a minute. This is... I mean, yeah, this is, yeah, you just told me about uh, you banishing your master, which, again, I did not mean to. He attacked first, but but I know y'all don't want Proteus around. Right? Right? <laughs> Wait, did I, say, I said Proteus. No, you said I, it, right? I, they look at you like you're an idiot. So you do want him around? I'm so confused here. Hold on a minute. Who's wait, in wait, wait. charge? Wait, okay. First off, who is in charge of this castle now? They don't even reply. They're just <sighs> staring at you. Weapons drawn. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to be like that. All right. Look, I don't want Proteus here. Y'all probably don't want Proteus here, I assume. Oh, damn it, can you just answer that? We don't want you here. I don't want to be here. I just got teleported the fuck here. So can, can you please just 
let us leave, and I promise I will never come back to this castle ever again. Hell, I will, sh I will sprint out of this castle if you want me to. I will do that. You're right about one thing. One one Narzagon from the back pipes up. You won't be coming back here because you'll be in the hell. Uh, and he's going mother. to attack you with... He's going to use banishment. Ah. Yeah, yeah, he's going to cast... <laughs> no. He's going to cast flame <laughs> to you on to you and teleport you to hell. No, I'm kidding. Um, okay. Where's my dice? Can, can, uh, I don't know. Can Marcus do a thing really quick as... He does... He's gonna... Or... I'll actually just wait for the attack. There it is. Ooh, that's fun. Rude. Uh. There it is. Try that. That's horrifying. I hate everything about that. Thank you. I'm just going to grab this over here. Why is it a monster made out of cheese? A what? It's not a monster made out of cheese. He looks like he should be, though. Come on. Um, does a 26 hit? God damn. It does, yes. <laughs> I love that part of being a DM. Being like, you full well know it hit, <laughs> but you got to be like, does this hit? And they're like, really? Yeah. All right, so that's going to be asshole. You play with little right. wizards with like two AC. Does a sixty-four <laughs> hit? Hmm. 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 Gee, I wonder if it I don't does. Know. I don't okay. know. Uh. Okay, so that's going to. Okay, so that's going to be this right here, and then we got that. Um, that's wow. going to be this one, eh? So that's three six. Listen, I didn't like okay. that. No, I sorry. I said that more as someone who like all my my all my family's in Minnesota, so we use the A as well. I'm just Minnesota. joking, by the way. I don't really care. I, I give nice ah. shit for the for the A all the time. I all the time. Oh, that's a nine. We, any anytime I hear nine. you say it, I will repeat it back to you. Fuck you! What are you doing? All right, so we got eleven. And then 14, and then that's a 17, so that's a 22 points of damage. Um, okay. 19 of those points are going to be fire damage. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but we're doing it now. Okay, 22. All right. So this is what he is going to do since... No, because I don't want to risk... Okay, I do want to try a risk. Oh, I, I need to use first. these things more often. This is really cool. Uh, yeah, he, isn't in, it? in response to that, he is going to cast. I was going to say, can I also get a charisma save and throw? But yes, you oh. may. Yes. Uh, hold on. Do I get charisma saving throws? Oh, holy shit. You, I do. Everyone does. No, I, I mean, like, proficiency in them, I mean. Clerics do. Uh, that's a <clears throat> that's a sixteen. That's a sixteen. Uh one short. You needed what? a seventeen. Bullshit. So you're frightened of it. <laughs> Spooky. Because insight. Thank you. All right, this makes sense then. Uh, he is going. I, I will out of say. Here. Uh, there is good lore reason with your 23 religion check. Uh, good reason why you'd be afraid of it, taking 22 points in one hit. Uh, if you die by this thing's hand, uh, you will rise in four hours as a Lemur, a base level de devil in hell. You will, oh, it, shit. you will have four hours from death to be resurrected by a true resurrection or wish spell. Um... No, wait, that's only if you... Yeah, you'll have... not. That's only afterwards. So, uh, yeah, if you're killed by this, you'll have four hours for someone to resurrect you or you rise as a devil yourself. Okay. Uh, uh, hold on. So I'm that's like... good reason, in-world in, in reason, for him to be afraid of it. Just means uh, your attacks are with disadvantage. Yeah, so he... You know, the dice is not being good to me today, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, 
out of fear, he's gonna you use your one good net twenty. Protect the kids, obviously, and then he is going Meet to shields. cast. Okay. No, protect the kids, Markham. And he is going. Yes, to cast... protect me, kids. <laughs> That's he's what you going... said, right? Oh my gosh! Let me finish. Sorry. He's going to cast uh, level five spirit guardians around him and the kids, so every one within fifteen feet of me. Besides the kids, need to make a wisdom saving throw. Well, four of them. Uh, the the highest one. So highest happy. one. What? Markham's like, damn it. Yeah, the highest one was an eleven. The highest save was an eleven of the four that are within fifteen feet. They all fail, and they all take. Damn, they take twenty-five radiant damage. Disgusting. Which one of you took a shit and didn't flush it? <laughs> and disgusting. Oh, Let me see what it is. <laughs> Uh yeah, every time fucking one of you Yeah, and it. every time they start their <laughs> turn. And so their speed is halved now. Nice. And they each turn they have to make a, another wisdom saving throw. All right. And then yeah, I can't really Does this also apply to anyone that enters within 15 feet of you as well? Yes. Yeah, so then all the others, when they try to attack. Yep, yeah. they'll have to make the same save. And then with that, he will definitely... I mean, he'll cast a level... Let's do a level... Because it's a bonus action. Level 3, Healing Word on himself. And that's... Ooh, not bad. I get 18 points, so... Nice. I'm only sure. four for maximum health. So yeah. So in this, as he has a fear of facing the thing and turning into a devil, he quickly puts the kids behind him, makes sure they can't get hit. And cast can. spirit, cast spirit guardians. So as three angels start to swarm and attack the four that are there, and then he immediately. Uh, says a word in Celestial and heals himself. So the wounds are mostly gone away. There's still a little bit of burns, though. Nice. Nice. All right. And thus begins combat. Uh, so as you guys square off and the others ready their attacks, go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, that's a uh, 15. Yeah, 15 for Marcus. So with concentration spells remind me magic people that use magic users often. Can I cast another spell as long as it's not concentration, or can I cast no spells? No, unless unless you have a feat and you can't do anything unless it's a bonus action because a spell requires an action. Even to keep it up. Oh, keeping you it up. Keep, you don't need, you don't a, need to keep it. Here. You know, as in this next round, as I have it up, can I? Use another spell while keeping yeah. it up. Okay. Oh yeah, you have to make a concentration check, which is like what an intelligence roll. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If if as long, as, but if it doesn't require concentration, it's just something that happens and it stays up. Yeah. yeah. No, because okay, yeah, because he does have some plans. Yeah. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. After you, but I, I, what I mean is like per turn, if you've cast a spell, you can't cast another spell unless yeah. it's a bonus action. So, because I cast, yeah, okay, because this turn. I casted uh, Spirit Guardians and Healing Word. Mm -hmm. I can't do any more, but next turn, I can do like Guiding Bolt for my action. And then... Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's why I want to double check. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, you're good. You know, yeah, just, yeah, I just use martial classes too much, so I don't really. All good. I don't really do spells. Be who big number. 
But yeah, <laughs> uh, 15 for uh, initiative. All right. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, nice. Winston actually rolled the highest. Nice job, Winston. Right? So, crazy kid's going to attack, and you just all of a sudden hear, Ooh! As he just claw- <laughs> runs up and clobbers one of them in the head <laughs> with a pretty darn good hit. Um, and it kind of, like, it just, because it's metal, the, the metal helmet that the, the Narzugans are wearing, yeah. it's head just, boom, and just kind of, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it sounds Looney like it's Tunes. hitting a bell. As it's, it's Looney Tunes, just Yeah, tall. basically slams into the, the wall and just, you know, right through the drywall there with stonework there. Um, he's got a pretty good arm on him. Uh, the chain devil is going to then retaliate and attack the kid. And hit because the kid has AC. Um, oh, if the is the chain devil within range of my. Uh, yes, Guardians, I need to roll that. It okay, yeah. Well, that's uh gonna be. Let's see here. All right, what 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 does he have here on the wisdom save? Uh, that's a twenty-two for the wisdom save. Passes. Okay, okay, yeah, he'll take half damage. All right, half damage for him. Holy shit, though, that's still uh, 14, 15? That's not bad. Because uh, full damage is 29, so half That's that. not bad, yeah. 20 to 15 damage. I always round up for damage. Okay, yeah. So Downsize, 15. it also rounds up against you guys, but, you know. Yeah, tomato, tomato. Or you give you a take. Right? But yeah, so 15 damage if... Yeah. Well... Um, he hits the kid, and, hang on, gotta do the math, cause I'm mathing. Okay, he's gotta do this. Man, kid's doing well! Um, so he, he whips him with the chain, kinda scratches him up a bit, it's not too bad. Um, and the chain kind of wraps around him, and it looks like it's trying to, like, the chain is actively trying to wrap him up um and and grapple him essentially and he just whoop nimbly wiggles out like teens are are able to do and nice. um just does a kind of almost like a cartwheel to get away yeah. and uh, then he's facing off with it again uh that brings us to Narzugan number to one Narzugan, so the one that had its head into the the wall does not matter. It just kind of walks past as the Chain Devil's taking care of Winston. And the two Narzugans are going to both attack Marcus. Okay, if they have to make wisdom saving throws. Yes, they do. That is a 19. That saves. That's another 19. Yep, yeah, both save. And they wow. both take 10 damage, 10 radiant. All right, I'll mark that off of them. 10 radiant. Ooh. This cheese is so good. So happy for you, Ian. I've just been sitting here. It's like, like geez. <laughs> just been sitting here eating that slowly. You said that's radiant damage? Yeah. They're, that's all radiant damage. They're taking 20 then, because uh, in my world, fiends take double damage from uh, radiant. So wait, do the chain, did the chain devil take double damage too? Yep. So instead of taking regular damage, they're taking, or instead of taking double damage, they're taking regular damage when they pass. So yeah, so that was a twenty nine for that. Man, that those that fir- those first attacks really hurt. Then yeah, yeah. So the first one took fucking twenty nine, and then this one takes twenty. So yeah, no, no twenty nine is... times two that would be fifty eight. But... Oh yeah, right, because he mm-hmm. didn't save; he failed. Yeah, you know... the first four failed, so they all took fifty eight damage. They were looking rough, actually. Well, oh. the Narzugans are looking maybe half damage, but the the one chain devil he's looking rough. All right. Fuck yeah. Right? All right. So, they're going to So, in other words, you now realize this. Use radiant damage for your other stuff. Mm -hmm. Exclusively. I mean, he is a cleric, so most of the damage he does is radiant. No. Yeah, no. 100% of it is radiant. Okay, 90% of it is because he has spiritual weapon and that's force. But the rest of the damage is literally freaking... Radiant. Even from your weapons? Okay, so... Well, no, but they do extra damage against Fiend, 
fey, elemental, celestial, and aberration. Matt. Basically. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Basically, extra any extra planar creature. Yes, Marco. All right. So what happens here is we got this. Um... Why? Why you talk? Yeah. Why, why, why am I talking, talking like a Hoosier? Because I'm a Hoosier tonight. So oh what happens here? Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. I'm kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> Keep going. I'm listening. If I you know it, you know it. <laughs> I don't. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Classic um, Rick Moranis humor. humor. So... Okay. <laughs> um, the lowest roll was a fourteen. That doesn't hit. Good. Then a sixteen. Doesn't hit. Then a nineteen. That does hit. Ooh. Okay. Then, uh, the other three attacks also hit, because the other oh, three shit. were a twenty-seven, a twenty-eight, and a natural twenty. For oh come on! Oh. Get fucked. Get fucked. Oh, and in your world, that's gonna hurt. Why do you do this to my characters, Marco? Because all those are over because twenty, so that so that's max damage. You have one that you have to roll. The other two are max damage, and the third one is double max damage. Did we do that? Yes, you you told us at the start of the campaign. Oh gosh, any yeah. any roll that have were we over twenty is actually... max damage. When have we yes, actually? Like... I'm feeling, to do that, I'm feeling nice though. I won't do that to you. I won't do that to you. Oh, I've been I've been doing that anytime I actually because it's specifically he says when you, you have to roll for damage. Spells don't do that. That's true. That's true. That Mark him very point. much at the start of the campaign specified when you roll for damage, any roll above a 20 automatically right. does max, max does damage. max damage. That's true. And therefore nat 20s do double max damage. Hey, we uh, this is can we pull that into play with our other campaign? Because, your boy... You know what? I'll allow that. Okay. I'm going to hold you to that. You guys are just going to... We'll experiment with it. See how it goes. Yeah, Marcus because we're all... going to fucking die. We're all... No, over... he'll be fine. Hopefully. No, Let's he see. won't. Oh, God. As long as you die before you meet me. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> as long as you, as long as you so get resurrected, as long as you get resurrected within four hours, you're fine. I don't want my characters to keep getting resurrected. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to Markham's world. You die. All right, you get resurrected. Uh, All right, so that's gonna be. Oh no, wait. I literally had oh, no other fucking option. Seven, nine, Thirteen. I yeah. could not run. I could not run. I can't teleport because cleric. Oh, no, wait. 7, 10, 13, 18. All right. Hang on. You choose not to math. run. I, got a math. I could not. I was trapped between two fucking ways. All right. How you could I run? Be, you can just like Misty Step or something like that or teleport. No, I don't have Misty Step. Cast Banishment on yourself. All right. One. Cast Banishment on yourself. Good news. They're rolling really low. Except for that one guy who rolled max damage, the idiot. I'm being Next nice. I'm not doing the max damage thing. Next round, though. Beware. Oh oh, Come fuck on. Fuck you too, pal. Um, I think that's 13. Markham, who's avidly going, no, I don't want them to hurt him. <laughs> He's getting upset at his own rolls over am. there. I know I can I can see that, and it's very amusing to me. You're like, why why are you hurting my my players? Markham is such like a is, is such a nice kind DM that he's like, I I don't want to hurt them. No, I don't want to hurt them. I just want to give them trauma. I don't want to hurt them. I just want to leave their life up to a constitution save that they fail and like die immediately. Yeah. That happened with one character, okay? Now what's fourteen? No, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't kill them. I just petrify them. I don't kill them. I just petrify them. In a world it, with marble, where it takes a fucking wish to heal them. I don't want y'all getting too comfortable. Okay, so. What are you talking about? Too comfortable, my. I asshole. really hope you're doing okay on health because that's ninety-eight points of damage. 
<laughs> Markham? <laughs> I had 96. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Fine. Fine. Let Marcus die. <laughs> no. Um... <clears throat> Fuck, I didn't calculate the double damage from that one. <laughs> Too late to have motherfucker. I hate myself sometimes. No, you don't. So we'll funny. do the three. The three was doubled to a six, which is double to five, though that's um He's oh, still he's still at zero. It doesn't I'm, matter. Yeah. It literally it also it. doubles that. Marco, okay. he's, just, all... he's just he's that just trying to calculate to, 100... to instant dead. 124 points of damage. Okay, well you're not instant dead. And you're not instant so you're dead. Fine. That's what's important. You're down. Um, I'm down, surrounded by fucking paladin demons and that. Like I was not Markham. expecting them to hit that been... hard in my defense. It, Markham, you, you that, gave that... like. He, it would have been really hard for him to actually insta kill you because it has to do all your damage plus, plus yep. the, the your like full HP Still, damage though. as well to insta Still, kill. Though. Just with this, though. All right, hang on. I'm gonna make a roll here because it's now Dinya's turn. So as you go down, you hear her say, "Hey, Eddie." It's, it's... Eddie, from our game, from Krill? No. <laughs> hey, I need okay. is what you hear. Oh, hey, I need. Oh, wow. I okay. Heard, hey, Eddie. I'm like, so, Eddie's not here. With a 23 on her roll, here's what happens. Pop off, queen. He stabilizes you. Wake up. <laughs> Rise, wake up, soldier. Wake up. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, like, Matt hasn't been here for combat. Let's put him by himself against you, the You dozen. wake up, and uh, you have been healed uh, 25 points. You're alive. All right. Do you I... are in one of the small guest rooms that was right off to the side. So you guys were passing a I asked if there was a fucking room? guest room. Oh, yes, I, I missed that. Yes, there are I guest rooms. I asked that because I want – Okay. If you want to okay. change what you did, you can do that. I didn't realize well, that you. You know, because if there was a fee, soldier, we're leaving. No, if there was a guest room, Marcus was going to cast magic. Uh, magic circle, get them all in the room. Cast magic circle on the door so they couldn't get in there, and then pray to any god that will hear him at this. Point. Oh, that's clever. Okay. Well, in that case, you you have this vision of them striking you down, and you just black out. And then when you come to, you're in the guest room, and they're pounding against this invisible wall at the door. And you don't remember doing it, but as you were experiencing that vision, you would grab them and thrust them through the door and cast magic, um, the, the magic whatever it was thing you cast on the door so they couldn't get through. Um, so that was all like an intense vision you were had. Like you are actually bleeding. You don't know why. Like you feel like you've been wounded, um, but you haven't. So you are you are back. You only took the first damage, which was what was that? Twenty two. Twenty two. You only took the twenty two points of damage. Okay, let me subtract that. You know, I literally asked like, "Hey, are there any rooms I can dive into?" I did not hear you ask that question. I am oh, sorry. You you said no, there wasn't. You said you're in a corridor. Nah, uh, you're in a corridor. I, he said, "Are we near the first room?" Well, that's why I heard. No, he said, "Are we near any rooms?" Oh, near yeah. any rooms. I thought you said, "Are we near the first room?" It's like, no, you've been walking for a while. <laughs> no, yeah, no. So yeah, he does. He realizes this, and he's gonna go. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. He's going to do this. He's going to immediately pray to the literal only fucking goddess that has actually helped him. Allie. Perfect. And he, is gonna, he is going to quickly uh, grab his and go, Allie. Wait, I'm sorry. What's she the goddess of again? Not nature. That's Kaliadne. Do you even know? Because you just grabbed her at random. Well, no. Well, no, 
Wait, hold on. I'm she is sorry. a nature goddess. She's a different field of nature oh, goddess. Oh, right. She is, is a different nature, nature goddess. goddess. Okay, so. But goddess... I don't know if you've really looked into her that much besides, hey, she answered me, so I'm working with her now. To be fair, though, he would know, you know what? That's about just, just from... how it happens. Mm hmm. Just from. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I do gonna... that. Yeah, he's going to go, uh, Allie, if you can hear me, we are in deep, deep crap right now. We need to get out of this castle. Watch your mouth, Marcus. <laughs> He just stopped himself from Ladies saying Ladies and gentlemen, shit, so. Marcus is finally cussed. Oh, okay. I... And I'll go, we need to get out of here now. Please, please. Please hear my prayer and get us out of here and back to... Just back to can you, somewhere. Can you give me a constitution safe. saving throw? Back to mommy. Okay. Oh, thank. Thank the gods. Okay, that is an unnatural 20. Nice. Okay. Um, you you feel the sensation of that vision you had where they were striking you down with very precise attacks. I didn't look at the stats before sending these guys into combat. I didn't realize they get three attacks each. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, plus, they get to cast a spell. I did not cast the spells. I decided I would just let them attack. Um, three attack, Holy three attacks shit. plus a spell. They are very powerful. I was like, yo, fuck this. Um, so that's that's fun. Actually, the first one that attacked you, I only let him do one attack because there was a surprise round. I was like, you're only gonna get one attack in. Um, just because that just seems fucked. Um, so Markham, yeah. did you base it off of CR? What do you mean? The CR rating. No, I never use you... CR ratings. I oh, okay. CR rating I was, these guys. I was going to say because that's a bad way of going about it. Because This one doesn't actually you... say they're CR ratings. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah, so. I think they're what? from an older. No, they're not. They're more in kind of stone with foes. Huh. But yeah, so did I make the save? Or... You did, you did. You feel for a second like you're being pulled into that vision and reliving it, but you managed to just shrug it off. And you realize that was that was the effect of the fear spell that took over you. Fair enough. Is you're you you were about to start reliving them killing you over and over again. But with the twenty you shake off the uh you shake Damn off it. the fear spell, you your your resolve strengthens and you just kind of <sighs> Like um like yeah. stoic the vast, um at the beginning of how to train your dragon where he just fair enough just sh shrugs off the flaming embers. So do you want me to do divine intervention for this? Go for or... it. Go for it. Um, and yeah, roll, roll. Okay, come on. Seventy one. No. Okay. <laughs> Nothing appears to happen at this. No, oh, at this time, but. Let's see what the other three are doing first. Cool. I will say he has about an hour on that magic circle, so he is fucking praying. Well, Dinya's running over and using her turn to kind of investigate. He's <laughs> Winston is like, come on, I want to fight him. Let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> <laughs> and and Dinny is like you know, investigating the window. She's like trying to figure out if it can open. She's like peering out what's down below. Um, she's doing roguish stuff. So I'll do keep doing the cleric stuff. Right. <clears throat> and um yeah, no, Winston's practically a barbarian. <laughs> so, uh down in the bowels of the dungeon. You're pretty sure you heard a bell go off at one point. <laughs> Distant bell. Bing. Um sound of metal on metal. How's it going down here? You guys are down in uh down you're like six levels down six floors down um sitting around the table you've just finished up your meal sir wellington looked at alf dean and said will you protect me if this goes wrong and that is where we left off callie and abigail you have no idea what he's talking about all you know is that he's claimed he doesn't remember what happened in the dungeon and as far uh, as you can tell, he's either a pretty good liar 
Or he might be telling the truth. I don't know. I've decided him a couple times and nothing's come up. The what? I've incited him a couple times. Nothing has come up. Hmm. Not saying I trust him. I'm saying it's suspicious. So, Abigail, what's your take on the situation? Besides the fact that you don't like wearing pink. <laughs> Good old Naz in solidarity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, Naz is Abigail... doing an Abigail cosplay tonight. Loki. 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 Yeah. A Loki. Loki uh. Abigail cosplay. When Loki meets Abigail, um, this is the result. No, I'm kidding. Mm-hmm. I always... Anyways. Sorry, Loki and <laughs> Abigail would get along great. Are you kidding me? They would. They would. I, I, Abigail would hate it. Loki would love her. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Which Loki are we talking about, I guess, is question. Markham's Loki. Loki. Uh. I I try to keep him relatively close to the Norse Loki, not not Marvel's Loki, the Norse Loki, but I do have some deviations. To be fair, yeah, Lo- Loki in in Norse is kind of a Looney Tunes character. He's Wily e. Coyote. He's the Wily e. Coyote of he the basically Norse gods. is. <laughs> And then whenever he finally wins, he holds up the sign that says, you want me to catch him? Now what do I do? <laughs> now what? Now what? Never forget that episode. Sorry, Abigail, your your take on this whole situation and whatever is going on with Callie saying that Sir Wellington peeled his skin off. It was gross. I, I, I don't, don't understand, understand what you're asking. What What is Abigail's perspective on this situation? Um, what does Abigail think about this? claim of, of that the gnome child is also somehow some sort of devilish being that can t- tear his own skin off. She's like, okay. Like, are you like, oh, okay, I need to be worried about Sir Proteus Wellington now. Are you like, Callie, what'd you have to drink? Oh, like, whose team? Not so much whose that team as... Is she on? Not so much that. I love as, this. I like, love this this expansion. <laughs> Sir Proteus Wellington. <laughs> uh, more like, um, is your immediate response to be like thinking that something's wrong with Sir Wellington, something's wrong with Callie, or something's wrong with them both, or? Do you not care and does this not change anything whatsoever for you? This is another Tuesday. She's always that, like, she's, it's weird. She's like, okay, drama. But she's also like, can I please go get Histon right now? <laughs> and she's kind of like, just kind of wanting it to be resolved. Also, <laughs> anytime she's suspicious of someone, she always has that cockiness to think, like, I, I could take care of it. I can handle it. Yeah, so, that makes sense. you know, it's fine. <laughs> You're like, I don't care. I can actually kill him we gotta with kill one Histon. spell. So, if he sus Sir Wellington, I'm not worried about it. If Callie's weird, I already knew that. <laughs> she just had a speech to me about, like, freaking why she was sad that other people got experimented on. So, like, yeah, because I, I was one of those weird. people. I was one yeah. of those people you experimented on. I always on. knew she was weird. Sir Wellington, if he's suspicious, <laughs> it's fine. Like I'll just kill subject. him. What kind of person doesn't like being a test subject? Come on. It's science. Exactly. <laughs> For science. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. so she's kind of indifferent. Maybe a little sus of both, but not in a way that she's going to like react too much. She's like, I got it handled. It's not a problem. Makes sense. That's her take. Oh, it is 9.28. So in two minutes, we have our break. Do you guys want to launch into this conversation now? Or do you want to go on our five-minute break first? Is it five or ten go minutes? On. should be like five. Five, minute. five, yeah. Five minutes. We can take the break yeah. a little bit early since we're launching into what I know will be a very big, possibly heated discussion. Yeah. Yeah, we can take the break. 
Yeah, let's take a let's take a slightly longer break. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back in about six minutes. Since we're taking a break a minute early, they get a bonus minute. Um, I will grab some popcorn to watch this. Um, this is when the Oscar-worthy performances come in. Um, as all those TikToks I've seen of the "Do you love me? I love you," but that's not what's happening here. Just to clarify, quite the opposite. <laughs> Do you hate me? I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> I will always hate you. Yeah, stuff like that. You know, the 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 dramatic, epic, amazing, Oscar-worthy performances. But we know Oscar will never give them an award because Oscar never gives anyone awards that make sense. Um, last time that happened, I think, was Return of the King. And then ever since then, it's been like, why would you choose those? Um, so we'll be back in a few minutes uh, with the drama of the year. So stick around. I guess so. Um, let's... Welcome back, everyone. Uh, don't feed Selkie apples. Um, I, I, apples are fine. It's something in Selkie the, in the is Snow uh, White preservation. Oh, it, it's, it, there's something about the preservation in apple concentrate that I am allergic to. I don't understand. I can have actual apples. Mm -hmm. If it's made from real apples, I can have it. But unfortunately, most things like apple ciders, apple ales, apple whiskeys, Whatever. Well, it's not an apple whiskey. Apple it's concert. actually a um a s'mores whiskey. Mm, s'mores? Questionable. Questioning your life choices. It's actually uh, really but good. Anything, I am impressed. Anything with like an apple juice additive to it is most likely made out of apple concentrate. I'm waiting for my roommate to make me apple butter. So I can have apple That's butter right. for the first time in ages because they make it from actual apples and not from apple concentrate. That's brilliant. All right, so. I love apples. It's just very unfortunate for me. We shall pick up with Sir Wellington. What would you like to say to the class? Okay, so I, what do I need to do then, Kelly, to like make you believe that I am me? Because I don't know at this point what to do. If you don't know about Proteus, nobody else seems to, then we need to find out what the fuck Proteus is, who they are, and what their dealio with you is. If you were just, I don't know, demons do weird possessions, I think. I don't know. I don't interact with very many demons. If you were just a victim in this moment and happened to turn on all of us, or if this is a legitimate concern. But like the last time I saw you was like uh, two weeks ago, uh, like two three weeks ago, something like that. And then before that, it had been a really really long time. I think the last time I saw you was in the uh the uh what you would call it the town where we all were and then you went missing after spending a lot of time with the with the dude and you so you weren't there when all of those people turned into demons. That was that was crazy. Oh when Sigurd kidnapped me and didn't, but didn't kidnap me. Yes, because then he helped take us to uh to uh the 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 place um where the, the uh, sanctuary place, and then we tried to go in and uh, but then they didn't let Marcus and me in. They said that we were evil. Well, but the whole Proteus thing that would make kind of sense. But I'm not Proteus. I don't. I I've heard that, but I don't know who that is. I just have a stinky feeling that you might not be aware. But there is a little evil little asshole living inside of you. Style. How would we find you're out? You're just not. I don't know. I. Can I history check because Selkie doesn't remember? Um, 
like the events leading up to before Proteus happened, jerked his skin off and mm -hmm. very scary. Roll a history check. Oh, Callie's dice are still in my roller. Look at this guy. That was super cocked. Give me your things. Ooh, a natural one. Sit. You remember quite vividly. Uh, you had. Let's see. Uh, Sir Wellington had teleported to the tower mm -hmm. where you guys were all making your escape. He just showed up. Yes. You ran into Deidre, who <clears throat> was like, okay, uh, let me get you guys to safety. We'll be safe in the tower. You guys spend some time in the tower. You and Deidre had some conversations. There was some tension. You kind of broke up. You told her to shut up and stay. Out. You just told her to just shut up and stay put, which she proceeded to do, shockingly obediently. Um, and then you guys started working your way out of the tower. Um, in the wake of Marcus banishing Deidre's dad. Um, and as you guys went through these rooms, which you did just repeat with Sir Wellington, you would be like, ah, oh, my head, ah, oh, my head. And it was like, ah, I'm Proteus. And then ripped his skin off and attacked you guys. Okay. So you tell, showed up, which was weird. But you're a little magic man. I don't question it. I don't think the part with Deidre had anything to do with you. Um, and then you were complaining that you had a headache. I don't remember any of that. So this it happened. Oh. When did that happen for you? A couple days ago. Yeah, but I, I haven't seen you for like two weeks. Like two, three weeks. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So the last time you saw me, I was. I was still with Sigurd. The last time I saw you, you were with Marcus. Marcus, where? Uh, you guys were like walking around. We were walking around together. Inside check. <laughs> what? Okay, who are who, we? Are you inside checking? <laughs> 23. He is withholding information. <laughs> withholding information. Walking around where? That's not specific. You and I, you, me, and Marcus have walked around. Mm -hmm. The swamps? The, the fire swamps? Where I strayed off and found my girlfriend? Again? Friend who's a girl? There's a space in there? Uh, yes. Yeah, press X to doubt. <laughs> if you want to roll another insight, you can. <laughs> or does Sir Wellington have an answer? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can insight either way. It's a 19. Not, not, not those swamps. Other, other swamps. Okay. Other swamps. What other swamps? Is it Markham? Was it the fire swamps? No, the fire so. swamps is the yeah, okay. plains that she's talking Yeah, okay, about. okay. Yeah, no, then no.
for Naz's delight, my dog went to go itch herself, swung around, forgot where she was, and bashed her head against the wall. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Poor puppy. Poor doggo. Yeah. With this ring, it's okay, you're Ivy so Red. very smart. Are you ashamed? No, Coda, don't listen to Naz. She's ashamed of herself. Why? <laughs> don't now. tell a dog that bashing her head into a wall is smart. No, I didn't say that. I said you're still very smart. Oh, you're still okay. That. In that case, in that case, you can listen to, to Naz, Coda. <laughs> She's not giving you bad life advice. <laughs> no, I am not. I really hope this cat. She's so fucking cute. Would Abigail like to make any insight checks on Sir Wellington? Oh, is she there? Yes! Oh, did you, did you wander off? I mean, if you want to, Abigail can wander off. Roll stealth if you're going to sneak away. Why, should I, why would she sneak? Hey, get back over here. Uh, you're part okay. of this. Too. Roll stealth. To see how quietly she slipped away. Well, <laughs> she's unintentionally. Ex- no, I'm. I, she'll. She'll be there. It's just like if it's a. She doesn't have a say in this conversation. I feel like I don't know how long she's gonna stay there. Um. I don't think she needs to make any inside checks yet. Is she sticking around for now, or has she decided to be like, meh? I mean, it, what's the room like? Is it is just like the two of them talking, and she's just standing there staring at them? Well, no, there's it's everyone at the table still, right? We're at a table? I thought we were just like in the, standing in a oh, room. Oh, are you just standing in the room now? So this is after dinner, you're just like, Yeah, I thought we had walked, I thought we had been walking somewhere. Well, you guys were at the dinner table, and yeah, I thought finished, we finished, and then we're up. going, we're going somewhere because I thought I yeah. was next to, I thought I was next to. No, it's just, everyone's just kind of mingling in the room, is how. No, well, he's right. I think I think Kelly had said she wanted to take you back to where it happened. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that's, yeah, right, yeah. that's right. Yeah, you're in the you're in the dungeon. You're in the dungeon area. Yeah, and yeah. That's right. You were walked down there, and nothing happened. And Kelly's like, "All right." All right, tell me. Come on. Yeah, because that's when we were walking. That's when I had leaned over to Alf. You know, was like, hey. Yep, that's right. Okay, well, then she'll just be following, looking at other things, trying to find something interesting along the way. She might be eavesdropping, but she's not like, she doesn't feel like she has anything to add I swear I wasn't dropping no eaves, sir. (laughs) I wasn't dropping no eaves, sir. (laughs) Late to be trimming the head. Kayla is the most amazing woman in the world. Um, no offense intended, Selk. Uh, the None she has found I the best way to wake agree me up. So <laughs> my alarms don't wake me up, even though I change them to the Lord of the Rings themes. They help a little bit, um, and I don't get nightmares because the <laughs> eh, eh, eh is going <laughs> off. You know, it's now a bit so- more soothing. I just have a soundtrack to my nightmares. Instead of making my nightmares worse, because now there's an alarm blaring. Um, Kayla calls my phone to shut off the alarms, and then proceeds to... uh, I woke up two days ago to her reading through... I think it was reading. I don't think she was doing this by memory. Um, The entire prologue, as narrated by Galadriel... Um, to the Fellowship of the Ring, and then You're this morning, a fucking nerd. I woke up <laughs> to her reading through Sam's speech on "There's good in this world, Mister Frodo, and it's worth fighting for." No, um, yeah. such a fucking nerd. I love and her. that so wakes really... me up for some reason. It's amazing. <laughs> You're being you're being called to action. Lord of the Rings. Right? It's, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> Lord of the Rings speech. Like, Let me join. <laughs> it's like I'm in love. I'm it's coming. Like, so that makes Fair me enough. very happy. She's amazing. Anyhow, I got off track. Um, so Abigail, you're just yeah. you're staying with them for now. You're not wandering off. If there's something really enticing in another room that we pass, maybe. But if not, no. <laughs> All right, give me a perception check. Um, 
You could have just said no, there's not. <laughs> you could have. Yeah, that's true. I could've, I could've. But then where's the drama? The drama? They got the drama. I am the drama. I, I think okay. we bring plenty of drama in this. Thirteen. Thirteen? Why do you guys say it so begrudgingly? <laughs> that's not begrudging. That was You're matter of fact. Thirteen. I did not say it like that. Thirteen. So, with a thirteen. Okay. With with a with a thirteen, um, there's nothing too interesting. There are a few other rooms that branch off. You see some items in there. A couple of them look magical, but most of them are like swords and stuff like that that you intend to use much. Um, there was a staff in one of them. Other than that, that's it. Okay. All right, so you you just chilling with them then? Yeah, she'll keep looking around, right. casually eavesdropping. Casually yeah, eavesdropping. I mean, I don't think you need uh, eavesdropping, seeing as they're doing this they're not very much out in the open. They're not right. trying to be quiet. Yeah, fair. Yeah, this is this is like those Spanish soap operas where they're just shouting in the middle of everywhere, and they don't care who hears. Yeah, but she's like also like a little bit looking. And we all saw elsewhere. the tree run Tim through last episode, but now he's back and alive again. So, go figure that one out. <laughs> okay. Reported. Um. Right. Back to the yeah. drama then. That's you too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just he said no. That's not the fire swamps. Then when? Because wasn't Callie experimented on for like a couple months? Mm hmm. Time for the weird soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. So. Okay, this might be a good benchmark. The last time you saw me, did I have this or not? Motioning to tail. Yes. You, ha I had this. Okay. Yes. So after I talked to Abigail, then. I'm confused. Time is a weird soup. Mm. Okay, you said you protect me. He's gonna like kind of like little kids tell like hide behind Alfteen and like peer around the uh uh leg. He goes, okay, uh I <laughs> keep an eye on that one. And he points specifically to Abigail. He goes, I don't know how she's gonna react this as well. Um and you see him uh there there's like a ring that has been like on his like uh kind of like middle finger uh just he it looks like I'm kidding. it looks like it's supposed to be like it looks like it would be the size of like a pinky ring for like a adult but he like it, it fits on his middle finger like best so he like slowly pulls it off and uh the the image of the gnome starts to to flicker um and dissipate um and he's like okay um and yeah there there is uh a little a little raccoon boy there with a singular horn 
sticking out of the from the front of his head. This. This. What? 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 This is the little shit that went a wall. The, the 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 last time I saw you, I I I was with you in the swamp. Moving on from the swamp, but this this furry little thing. He's just like kind of like hold, kind of like tucking behind Alfteen's leg again. <laughs> uh, hey, riddle me this. What are you? <laughs> I mean, you're not I, a gnome. Clearly, no. I call me the. He called me a raccoonicorn. <laughs> he don't. <laughs> Huh? We don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, I, I mean maybe not you guys, but I Kevin does. <laughs> losing their minds. <laughs> Where do I find one? <laughs> oh, no. I love it. <laughs> Yes. Why? I thought you posted something in the chat for a second with the way they were acting. I was like, did I miss something? <laughs> oh, I, oh, I can't. I can. I can. Oh, do this it. Is purely, That's fucking excellent. Purely a raccoonicorn? A raccoonicorn, Markham. I know. Markham. Markham's <laughs> known from the start. A raccoonicorn? <laughs> That's why, why your reaction is dope. Because <laughs> you've heard this before. This is our first time. <laughs> That's excellent. Oh, I've known about this thing before the campaign began. Long before. Oh my god, I love him so much. <laughs> I hate that he's evil and killed many people. Oh my god. <laughs> what oh. I don't know anymore. I'm questioning my entire fucking <laughs> Time to change allegiances. Destroy the I world. I'm. Look at him! Look! Oh, oh my god! Oh, no. yes. <laughs> He's gonna get a guiding bolt to the face. <laughs> this thing is so clearly fake, but I don't know what kind. But I'm great. Just, I'm... Yes. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try a thing here. So we'll see if it works. Cute. He's so beep, fucking beep, 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 beep. That's sponsored. What? We're not sponsored. What did I hum? The Mc... Mc... <laughs> oh, I did! Oh, Google. <laughs> yes! <laughs> McGiggles. Oh my god. Your corporate capitalism has absorbed into your brain. Un like, unwillingly. Okay, whoa. Let's see. Um, We're going to do this. All right, there we go. So, for those of you watching uh, the stream, this is this is what he's describing. This little fellow right here. <laughs> there we go. Now we have officially. All right, now we're gonna try. Bleep. Yes, remove the image. There we go. Look at that. I just did a thing. I I demonstrated a thing. All right. Um. <clears throat> That is what is standing before them. A little raccoon with a little little unicorn. It, it's it, it's still he still has all the same clothes, yeah, on, same clothes on that like that he was wearing. So like the little like uh blue like kind of like tunic uh with the little like shorts and a little yellow uh rubber gloshes. Uh like the little little yellow rain boots and he's still got and there and uh, what you can call it? Snickers are still just sitting on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't have a squirrel familiar. You have too much squirrel to be to have a <laughs> squirrel You're familiar. Just a raccoon hanging out with a squirrel. I love it. You're just a um, raccoon. It's like, uh, but, uh, 
What, what, what do you mean? I this is the traitor thing. I again. <clears throat> the last time I saw you, I I was saving you. Mm-hmm. Questionable. Um. What do you mean questionable? You were well, in the you were in the swamp and you were you were wandering up. You were listening to music going da 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 da. And I had to I had to come along and and save you. Otherwise you would have been trapped for who knows how long and who knows if we would have been able to find you. So I sent you back here. Oh, in the Fey Wild. In the in the in the Fave Wild, those those swamps. Yeah, Got that's... it. Got it. Now I'm on board. Okay. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Matt's sitting here doing like <laughs> like Sherlock level mind palace stuff. Just equations he's trying, everywhere he's trying to figure this mess out and how to get out of his own mess which is so since you guys are not on the floor with the food you guys are actually not six floors below you're about like 12 floors below him so there ain't no way you're hearing anything <laughs> which by the way can i just keep rolling divine intervention because yeah. it's been actually roll me an investigation check divine intervention only works once if it fails then you have to wait seven days Wait, no, I thought it was. Hold on. It's not like once every no, five if minutes. Six, no, if successful, you can't use this seizure for seven days. Hmm. Otherwise. So it's only to... like a once a long. Isn't it like a once per long rest? Uh, that's an action. You can. <laughs> it just spams divine intervention. <laughs> yeah, because cause if, you, if you spam it, it's really OP to get a, a hey god do thing. Uh, I think it's once every long rest. Just, though. just be the cleric that's always praying under their breath. Hey God, please help! 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 Hey God, please help. Oh, you heard me. No, actually, I don't need anything right now. But hang in there for a second because we might need you in a minute. Let's see if you roll zero ten. Is successful? Hey, <laughs> yes. Days. Otherwise, you can. Okay, you, yeah, Terry. I think it is one day. Motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Give me an investigation check. Oh right, sorry. Uh, I was. What's Marcus's investigation check? Probably just a plus one. Yeah, just plus one. So seventeen. Uh, oh, beats it by one. Oh. Uh, one of the 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 wardrobe. You see scuff marks to the left of it. it looks like it's been moved. He's gonna. Look at the brain. It's He's dusty, look at the... you know. It's been a while since it's been moved, but it has been moved in the past. You gonna look at that and go, "Oh, hold on to a second. And he's gonna try and like. First, he's gonna try and see if there's like any. I should uh... say Winston has the door open. And he's taunting the de- the devils as they're trying to get through your your wall. There. He is grabbing Winston by the cuff, <laughs> full on kid style, pulling him back, closing the door. <laughs> like, no, we do not do that. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh, it was fun though. Let me out. Uh, no, up. he is he is holding this kid as he is looking for like a secret switch or a way to. And he's or... just swinging the uwu hammer. So in the background, you're hearing ooh 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 ooh. ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, does it look like the scruff <laughs> is uh moved to the like? Has it been moved to the side or? Looks like it's uh, been has... slid to the left. Okay, he's gonna slide it to the left. Slide to the left. Yep. Slide to Take the right. Now, y'all. Nope. You don't want to close it. <laughs> the now, music y'all. begins to play. Um, but he does slide to the right the as. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the kidding. Kid tries music to attack does not like, play. Nope. Music does... Nope. Nope. <laughs> um, there's a trap door. Woo! I got it. And he's going to. Is it unlocked? One way to find out. All right. Well, I assume. Okay. Yeah, no. He's going to try and open it. It opens. Okay, There's cool. a ladder going down. Oh, thank the gods. All right. Down the ladder right now. All right. They go down. You find yourselves in some kind of old dusty storeroom that has not been used for ages. There are a lot of uh, weapons and armor in here. It appears to be an old armory. Uh, is there a... How much light is there? Oh, it's pitch black. Okay, yeah, no. He's casting... 
Oh, he. Oh, shit. Light requires concentration, doesn't it? Hold on. I don't know if it does. I think you just put it so. on something and stare. Yeah. Hold on, let me double check. No, oh, no. Good. It No, it's a you don't have to focus on it. Yeah, Yeah, it's a, it's a cantrip. It would be okay. good to check just, that, though. Good, smart to check that, you know. <laughs> Bing! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bane and then fucking demon. So, as he does this... Oh, wait, he's not going to be able to do it. Never mind. He just cl closes it. Uh, and then casts uh, light, which thankfully doesn't require concentration. Uh, is there anything to jam the door with? Not really. It's a little beep, beep, you know. Not even like a little like latch or something to like. Oh Bump yeah, there's a little the latch. Bump yeah, you can, yeah, there's a little latch there. Okay, he's gonna I find could like Yank would break the latch, but it, there is a latch. Oh, so chest the last. There's not like an open hole to like put a sword or, uh, like hammer oh, shaft through or anything. <laughs> yes, there is a little. You could you could if you have like a pin or something, you could put a pin through there and like actually lock it. What a clothing pin, Cal? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna find like because I assume Do you have pipes? are there darts. The little, little yeah. pythons. Yeah. Can you find one of those? Don't you have... Isn't it... It's like a basic thing that comes yeah, in your, like, exploratory your pack. Inventory oh, does he? Hold on. Uh, you don't know, have your little pittens? Pittens, pythons. Oh, pittons. I do. Yeah. So, yeah, he is going to take a pitten and just put it in. All right. Slides into place. Seems pretty thoroughly latched. All right. Uh... I guess quick look. Anything that would uh, no, it takes ten minutes to put on medium armor. What? So no. Well, Wait. you have your spell up there for an hour, so you got time. Uh, I guess just a quick look around. Is there any good armor for the kids in particular? Anything for Roll them? Investigation. Uh, that's a that's a. That's a ten. There's some pretty cool looking armor, but um, yeah, I'll have to have the kids roll individually because it all looks like it would fit you. You don't see anything for the kids. You're just like, oh, I, oh, 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 but and you just completely forget you're looking for the kids. <laughs> yeah. I guess yeah. What is because right now I have Ada. No, don't turn on sticky keys. I'm aggressive. What? <laughs> I don't use caps lock. I hold down the shift key and I'm. Oh, I do that too. <laughs> and then I got asked if I want to turn on sticky keys. And it's like, no. I guess anything <laughs> that rant. looks better than uh, adamant scale armor. All right. Hey, there's that little boy right there. <laughs> Well, that doesn't matter right there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go here. Um... Marco, did you just not? You don't we're like gonna my talk after stream. No, we're going to talk after stream about your choices. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll look through the options of what you have there. Uh, in the meantime, we'll bounce back to uh, bounce back to the uh, the raccoonicorn and his his wonderful compatriots. Can I make a roll to no mm. fair rules? Sure. Is that what is that? Ah, uh, we'll do religion. Religion, okay. Mm. Eighteen. 
18. Okay, what particular lore are you looking for? Fey rules. Um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of them. Broad. There's a lot of them. Well, I, she, she's starting to think <laughs> if she knows any Take 99 points of psychic damage as, as her brain explodes from the amount of information <laughs> that just downloaded all at once. She's not downloading anything. She's <laughs> thinking. She's having a thought. She's having the thought. Right, but what First thing? time in a long time. Hey, thoughts are great. Fey rules. Mm. Yeah, she's not. Are. She can't. She's <laughs> thinking of a fey specifically the law. Fae the law. law. Okay. She's going to war. I don't know rules. Selkie, would, like, fae, would like to know the law. I would like to know the laws, please. The law. Selkie, take it away. You're the fake expert. She... Everybody <laughs> knows fey have weird like rules and laws. She's trying to remember if she knows any of them. Okay. What did you roll for religion? Eighteen. Okay, so they're pinned somewhere. Are you trying to exploit stuff on me? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Do it. Um. Jump to here. Beep, 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 beep. Hello. Where where's our pins, bro? We got a lot of channels. We got a lot of channels. <laughs> we got a lot of channels. And I think they're pinned in like seven of them too. <laughs> okay, I found them. Okay, there are seven laws of the Fae. You can never tell a Fae your full name. Never eat food from a fae. Never accept any gifts. Honey is like gold. It is like more valuable to them than anything, and they can really bargain with them on that. Uh, if you hear music in the forest, no, you didn't. Don't ever be rude. Don't ever be rude. Don't be offensive. And Oops. don't ever say thank you. <laughs> and don't ever say thank you. Oh, no problem. All okay. of the things all of you have done with Sir Wellington. Yes. That, yeah, yes, that's what she's no, going to say. Uh, Yes, no, and thank you. I should, and yes and no. The words yes, the words no, and the words thank you will fuck you up. Uh, okay. The punishments that coordinate with said law, because you rolled high. The court, the punishments that coordinate with said fey rules, in order. Number one, if you tell the fey your full name, they now have power over you, and you must do as they say. You are charmed. Me mechanically, you are charmed. Okay. Uh, number two, you will never, if you eat food from the Fae, you will never want any other food in the world and you will starve yourself to death. Okay. Literally, you will throw up at the sight of any other mortal food and you will only want Fae food. Also, charmed. There's a, there's a different, there's an actual D&D mechanic of eating Fae food. Yeah, of being charmed. You can be charmed. Different kind of charmed. The, but the effect of that charm varies. Anything from you are wholeheartedly devoted to this person, you fall asleep, or you there's another one that's really cat. lame. There's one that's really lame and we don't talk about it. Uh, if you accept a gift from the Fae, you are now in their debt and they can call upon you for anything. That that does not need to be... Not, the debt does not need to be equally balanced. You can... If you take a cookie from them, they can ask you to kill somebody for them, and you are bound to do so. Hmm. Boy, you guys owe um, Sir Wellington a lot of favors. Then. Yeah. <laughs> it's an all. Also eat, also eat food from him. He could be like, hey, uh, I need you to massacre a country, and you're like, I don't have a choice. <laughs> I don't have a choice in the matter. Um, honey is their biggest weakness. It's more valuable to them than gold. So think of your most money crazed individual and then put even the smallest amount of honey to a fae. It's like it's like a drug. And they're all itching for it. Surprisingly, this has not come into play. And I really think that it could be fun to do so. Anywho. Um, if you listen to the music of the forest, you'll get lost. And, so, and you know. 
you won't remember where you came from, how long you've been there. You'll get super lost. Uh, if you are rude to the Fae, you, it is heavily punishable by death transfer or transformation. Excellent. <laughs> they don't fuck around. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, if you ever say yes, no, or thank you, you are in their debt to them and you, they can call upon you for anything, even the extremes. And if you refuse to do so, see number six. You're being rude. Yeah. Okay. You're being rude. <laughs> okay. Also, Faye, the vast majority of Faye, I have to specify this as someone who also plays Faye, the vast majority of Faye see mortals as either a food source or a slave source. You either work for me and do my bidding and do whatever I say because it makes me feel good to dominion over you, or I eat you like hags. Ah, uh, the hags. They they see they see mortals akin to livestock. Some people think that they're super cute and cuddle all the cows, and other people are like, hmm, steaks. Some people are both. And some people are both. This is my cow, Betsy. Tomorrow she's going to feed my family. Mm -hmm. So that is what you know of Baylor. Okay. So she's going to like turn towards Sir Wellington. And I think she's behind. Is going to peek out behind Doors. the leg of Alfteen. Isn't she behind both of them? I thought she was following them. Oh yeah, you're right. Abigail's following you're like, well, well, you guys are now standing he can still like, in the okay. room, but you're just kind of yeah. like walking around the perimeter of the room, looking into the other rooms. Okay. She's going to look at him and be like, that's why you feed everybody your fucking cookies. Huh? What are you talking about? That's some sneaky behavior. That's kind of smart. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm so that confused. The uh, cookies. You feed it to everyone. Yes, with... because I like cookies. Uh-huh, because you like cookies. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, you little shit. <laughs> well, uh... I feel bombing the don't be rude to Faye rule. <laughs> she would, yeah. She I did, but, uh... the remembers rule discards it, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm so. You're not even. Well, do you want to? He, pull, he, pull, he reaches into his bag, pulls out a cookie. Are you wanting one or something? I'm not even going to answer that question because this is a trap, is what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had you I had one you. for breakfast, and I do regret that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do regret that. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna eat this, but I'm highly offended by it. <laughs> Kelly, do you want a cookie? Don't say anything. <laughs> Just pretend you did not hear that question. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Uh, it's a trick. You, uh, you don't understand what he's doing. But you guys have always said my cookies. Cookies are pretty solid. This is why I didn't want to tell anyone. Look, God had made him cry. And now I'm just confused. The last time I saw this was surrounded in blood and dead bodies. So forgive me. Like, the way me. I surrounded by blood and dead bodies except for earlier when we came in here and I was like, what happened to my friends? Listen, I thought the same thing. We are both mutually confused in this. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out what happened and why you were so... Uh, have I has Kelly randomly random question has Kelly ever heard of raccoonicorn before in various monk it's studies a safe bet no of what okay. in random monk studies nothing this, this is not okay. a normal thing this is a name of a species you've never heard of before <sighs> she just kind of looks at Sir Wellington like Kind of looks overconfident about it. I know all the seven laws. <laughs> this is not going to trick me anymore. Most of those don't apply to me. 
Oh, confirm. Why not? <laughs> Because, like, I'm only partially, like, from Faye. You're Faye? Well, okay, so... I mean, okay, I'll just make sense. So, and it, it exp I can and it explain a little bit. I Kevin explained how this works to me a little. So, I followed him. Into he was visiting the place that I'm from. I don't remember what it's called, but anyways, the mo most of the stuff that I remember is from the Feywa because, as it turns out, when a raccoon eats a uh consumes it, what was it? He says when a raccoon consumes the flesh of a dead unicorn. They ascend into what he called a raccoonicorn. I love it so much. So, so I was I was initially a raccoon from another area, and then I I was following like food and all that, and ended up in the Feywild, and I ate a unicorn that I found at some point, and then Kevin found me, and he was like, "Hey, little buddy." You need some help, and I I live with Kevin, um. So, so, so Kevin isn't your. Kevin is not your squirrel. What? No. That's Snickers. Snickers that's, is your squirrel. That's... You met Kevin. You hung out with Kevin. You met Kevin. You... I've met Kevin. Yeah, yes. I'm sorry. I'm just still very blown away by A, your fay. B, I mean, kind of a little. Partially fay. To what extent do only have partially these rules apply? Um, well, I mean, so Kevin, Ke Kevin told me to not be rude to people because it's not nice. And so it's just those sort of things I don't like. But just in general, I don't actually know how many of them apply to me, but I adhere to most of them. But like I, I can make food for people and they don't go hungry and go like, I'm not, I'm not, I need more of this food. And that would really suck anyways, because I, well, I, I like I like was, sharing my. There, co was, huh? there was that one there was that one kid you gave it to and. He just kept insisting he needed more, if you remember. Oh, the, is the that what happened? At, the child at the... No, it is not. The child that had never had chocolate before. But uh, I think that's just a kid who got on a sugar high. I, I think so, too, actually, but... I like to bring it up whenever possible. Continue. And yeah, I'll, yeah, that's very not ni just... that's not very nice to bring up that stuff like that. I thought I was like, oh no, do do more of these things apply to me than I realize? If no, you need to test something, I can help. Are we going to? You, 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 you said you 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 had my cookie this morning, but you don't. You ate food earlier, so why do you think that this? that this stuff applies to me. Okay, well, maybe that one does not apply, but another one could apply. Yeah, you're being rude to me. Obviously, it doesn't apply. I'm not being rude. I'm being normal. You're being sensitive. It's true. This is normal you could, for you Abigail. Could punish her by death or transformation. <laughs> Die, <laughs> Abigail. <laughs> yeah, turn that Marcus into a, wanted to do that. Turn into a cat, Abigail. Meow. Actually, I don't think Abigail would complain about that one. No, Abigail knocks no. stuff over. No. Make, make her a pink cat. Turn her into a pink cat. No. <laughs> no, even worse. Knock stuff Turn over with cat. more violence. So, so yeah, no. Um, so again, the last time until like a two, two to three days ago, uh, that I had seen Abigail was when uh, I had gone to. The, the the temple where not we were me and Marcus were in the temple and then we went and I got I got upset and I was yelling at uh <clears throat> I was yelling at Ollie 
and being like, oh, you need to do this and that. And then I got instantly teleported to the uh, area where um, Abigail was and she had the book and then the whole thing with Histon and then and and then Histon's Histon's hag saw me and she was like, ah! <laughs> and she was like, boom! And then I ended up in back in the Feywild because I guess for banishment it considers me Fey because uh, of my now sentience. And so I ended up there and I was with Kevin and then we were I I did I wasn't a hundred percent sure how to get back, but I knew I needed to help. And then uh like three weeks later, uh you showed up with Marcus and then there was a few days you, you well you started wandering off and so I went poof and uh banished you back because otherwise I didn't we didn't want to lose you and that would have been bad. And then we went and to Ovirans. Oh, I do not like that man. Um, and then we went and we had the party. And then uh, after that, I was like, Marcus was not smart. Okay, he was like, just Ovirin was not very nice, and so he got a favor. And the way he phrased things was not very smart. He said anyone under him, and that did not include Sorsha. So that was not smart. And so I had to make sure to get her before he did. And then I went and I talk, hung out with Loki, and I was like, hey, we need help. And I explained things to him, and he was like, okay, here's how we do. And then that's when we went and visited Alfteen, and then... Uh, we went back and I helped the others. And so now the others are where we initially were trying to get to on the boat. So they're all saved. And I have Sorsha right here. And he like pulls down the bag of holding and like Sorsha's head, golden head pops out of it. And, uh, <laughs> and he's like, but the only way to do this is like greater restoration, but I think Ovirin might be able to help with that. So, and then, uh, and then after like, I, I was able to get here. Uh, and then after like three days, I see you pop up and then Alfine pops up right after that. And I was like, Oh no, what's going to happen. And so we started following and, and now we're here. So that's been the past month and a half for me. <laughs> I understood some of these words. Um, I'm just going to shoot your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, there may be a little... Nope, this is going to be fucking on site now. <laughs> Motherfucking on site. <laughs> why? why? Uh, I know why. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. So how do you know all these Archfey and people? Well, Loki is like my uncle. He acts like my uncle. He's like the cool uncle. He we he enjoys my pranks and uh we I hang out with him sometimes and I share with him what I do and he enjoys it. And then uh and, but no Ovirid is not nice and uh Loki is not like super thrilled with him either, but like he's not gonna do anything about it because he is in the position he's in. And then the whole gold thing, I think that has something to do with Midas, with Ovirin and Midas like being besties with each other, and there's like some weird pack going on between the two of them. And then they they came and they took well, luckily I took sources, but there was like three people that uh, like girls and I don't I don't know they weren't great and I don't know where they went so I didn't bother trying to find them so they're still in the Feywild somewhere and who knows they're like golden statues uh, they're the only ones who are missing there's a lot more so Wellington how could you forget <laughs> I meant this lovely lady right here as well Elf -T? how do you know her but, uh, uh... Loki went with me to talk to her, and he told her to help me if I needed it. Insight? 
Go for it. It's us. We had to we had to destroy the portal at her place. That's one of the reasons we went there. But then he was like, "Hey, maybe help her help him out." Twenty five insights. Still not particularly it's fond of 17. that, but I do understand. With my husband gone, it is a challenge to keep undesirable creatures from entering the portal into the Fey realm, and we don't want that. No. Uh, he seems to be telling the truth, uh, to the best of your knowledge. Whatever we can process. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you like still like to like eat in the trash and things like that? <laughs> oh yeah, give me an intelligence check, by the way. Trash panda. I'm sorry. She had to. <laughs> oh no, my That's sister would love you. A nine intelligence for Abigail. <laughs> I know, she has a plus four. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. All right, how about Callie? Callie can do intelligence too. Okay, I'm just curious if either of you will figure this out. That much better. Ah, 14. 14, okay. Um, Callie, you seem to recall him talking about him being five years old. Yeah, he's mentioned being five a lot. Mm -hmm. No, he's six now. He's six now. Yeah. Well, he hasn't said that to her yet, has he? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I feel maybe like he's no. mentioned it. Uh, maybe. I don't know. He's five or six now. But a child. Um. So with a 14 intelligence, how much of that is before he gained humanoid level sentience and how much of that is raccoon years? Oops. Hold on. Now I gotta look this up to be sad. <laughs> What's the life expect? What's the life expectancy of the raccoon? Not long. <laughs> oh, the raccoon. So, like, average lifespan of a raccoon about five years. He's going. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the 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 corn part expands so, your lifespan, right? <laughs> this is a new question for Callie, as but, she's like, wait a minute. But he says he's like five. He's like six. Raccoons only live to five years, so... You got one food in the grave, But with Woody. abundant food and shelter, they're able to survive well past a decade. Okay. He had, he had abundant food and shelter. <laughs> he had <laughs> abundant food and shelter. However, it's estimated about 50% of raccoons die within their first year due to disease, starvation, predators, or human intervention. That's so sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so now that oh, Callie okay. has wild this raccoon, one. wild what? raccoons tend to live three to five years, but can live up to sixteen. So yeah, You've got this that. begs the question: How much of this is actual child years, or is he actually an old man? <laughs> I don't know how to how to go about this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Just something I'm gonna to make knock this... about in her brain I'm... to possibly yeah, ask I'm later. Going... Yeah. How am I going to have this conversation of mortality with this very evident child? You I know you're gone so... to Abigail. Abigail <laughs> would just ask, right. and then you'll fuck. That's why I was hoping Abigail was the one who was going to get it. <laughs> Are you almost dead? <laughs> she just asked how long I have to live. No. <laughs> That was purely sulky. Kelly is... Okay. Yeah, Abigail okay. just processing. <laughs> no, no. Sulky did say, how long do you have to live? And I was like, wait, is she actually asking that question? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what? You want, roll a... Uh, yeah, roll, what would you roll to, you know, not think that out loud when it pops into your wisdom. head? Definitely wisdom. wisdom. Charisma. <laughs> charisma. Yes. Give me a charisma. Check or save your call. <laughs> well, they're both the same. It matters none. At ah, three. <laughs> three? Yeah, oh. you, you mutter that under your breath How unintentionally. <laughs> Sir Wellington just looks, looks at you like taking back. He's like, I mean, I don't know, hopefully a long time. Uh, I mean, that's, all, that's all we ever hope for, but I don't know if nature has it out for you or not. Um, I mean... Uh, Kevin said that raccoonicorns live to be kind of old and a long time compared to normal raccoons. Um, and so 
I mean, I was like, I I think like two when I ascended, something like that, and then, uh, and then I hung out in the Feywild and I learned how to bake cookies in the tree with Kevin, and it was well. That it was, that means little to nothing because Fey time is weird. Yeah, I don't know when it was here, but it was like the it is. I am like. I'm, I am now like six years old. So, from the top, make it drop. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> you were mortal over Kim. Yes. On this realm. Yeah, there's just a world. I, all I remember is I was in an area and there was like, there's some weird stuff. Like, and I think that's why Kevin, like, going where there, did, there's, huh? Where Sorry. did you find a dead unicorn? In the Feywild. <laughs> how did, how did Mortal Raccoon get to the Feywild? Because I was following Cookie Crumbs. And I went through a portal. You know what? I can't. All right. <laughs> to be fair, the, the place you came from is quite colorful. I've been there myself. What's your raccoon yeah. name? <laughs> What's your raccoon I, name? I don't know. I don't remember that. No. I I don't. I I remember very little type of stuff from. That that time I know that t- I was in an area where there was like a uh, fruit T Rex or something like that, and oh, well, I'm sorry, there, a there... fruit T Rex. Yeah, like That's a T Rex made out of fruit. Uh, yeah, I had to I had to hide from. I all I remember is there sometimes we had to hide from it because the that and then the 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 gorilla spider thingy magic were fighting each other and and we just had to we just had to hide and i don't i don't really remember much about my siblings or my parents that were raccoons um but kevin's my family now she turns to Callie and kind of tries she's not very good at it she kind of tries to like talk away from sir wellington maybe it's just these things that they say to make themselves feel better, like it was really nothing, and the raccoons. Oh, here, just... here, here! I can, I can show you what it looks like. And he can, he's gonna cast uh... <laughs> a fruit T Rex illusion. <laughs> Pretty much, what is it? <laughs> uh... Yes. Is he gonna do the demon code illusion thing all over again? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Major my illusion. Gosh. Major image. Image. Let's go. Uh and uh in front of you uh is going like is what's gonna come out is uh where is it that I'll pop it into the Where the fuck are you from? What have you what experienced, you? little raccoon what man? Are you? That, what that that are that, you? Po- that what pops in front of you guys. What is this? What is this? It's a god. Why I got banana feet? <laughs> Those are its claws. No, I don't care. It got banana feet. Are you in like an artisanal fruit market or something? <laughs> People make sculptures, and you got scared by a shadow. What the fuck is this? No. Are those kiwis? And I think those are durian. They don't smell good when you open them up. Okay. When and it died, it was like really fruity smelling. But then you open that part up, and oh man, it did not smell good. I love this so much. <laughs> God, I love the Fey. <laughs> no, uh, this can, isn't Fey. No, this can is I, just horrifying. Can I get a uh, um? Ba, 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 can I get a? Uh, uh, we'll do a history check from YouTube. There we go. For all you watching, this is what pops up uh, in the in the image that he's <laughs> sharing with them. Nineteen for history. What the What'd fuck get, is Callie? this? 
27. 27. Uh, Abigail, you're pretty confident. Callie knows her fruit. And Callie, you, you've you read about colorful, and you thought it was just fiction. You read about it in books of fiction, you know, science fiction books and stuff like that. Um, but this sounds like something from another dimension. Abigail, from your knowledge of the world and Helia and Phalia and the other the other realms, there could be other universes out there. Fuck. Uh, yeah, probably, given that my sister has duplicated... Yeah, that too. <laughs> the fact that you have t- you think of your your sister Micah and how there appears to be two of her. Um, no, there doesn't. There's definitely two now. Yeah, there's definitely <laughs> two now. There, my sister Micah has a twin. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but not like that. No, <laughs> no, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> not like that. Not, not Abel, like that. Like kind. another Micah. You mean <laughs> Abel? No, I mean another Micah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> The, the, besides this, where I was from, there is a lot of these little like turtle panda people that ran around. Um, and that's that's about all I can remember from that area. We we were mainly in the area where this where the fruit T Rex was, and we very much tried to stay away from it. And yeah, to you were normal raccoon. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Why weren't you like a fruit <clears throat> raccoon? <laughs> <laughs> just normal that, guy. The, that that's the, wow <laughs> why aren't you a normal person huh why 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 are you all flamey she's actually asking Callie why you are yeah. normal why aren't you normal why are you all flamey huh you know, you raise a good point. But if you come from a fruit dimension, I figured you would also be but, that, that, Okay, and he casts Minor Illusion now <laughs> to create what, like, because there's much smaller, like, what the others looked like, the little, like, panda turtles that he mentioned looked like. Um, oh, these are not made of fruit. Got it. And the gorilla spider. That is true. He's not a blend. <laughs> Why he got? <laughs> Why those were not necessary? They're non-functioning Batman nipples. <laughs> okay, oh they're gosh. non-functioning. I don't know. They are non fun- uh, That's they are non-functioning. They are they're on know. a shell. Okay, they're on shells. You think they're gonna be functioning? You think just the first turtle would have nipples? No, that's why I said they're non-functioning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you see, that's still weird. You're just a normal raccoon. Well, it's now you horn. have the horn, but that was not there before. <sighs> okay, so you're going to tell me that you live in places where you see things like dragons and you see other things that, like, in this world where there's, like, all these other stuff, and you're going to question a normal raccoon that you don't question me being a raccoon accord. What you have a problem with is that I was a normal raccoon. It's kind of I weird. Have... This is not weird. how I saw this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. It's fu- I don't have a problem with it. It's fine. It's just weird. I'm pointing it out. Ah. Okay, I can't help how I was born. None that's of us true. can. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I don't. I'm just. I'm just. Bl- and then. How does. How does Proteus come into play? If you were a raccoon. I don't who know. Became a unicorn who became demon who went back to unicorn. Mm-hmm. Who be unicorn? Demon. Thing did some demonic shit. Fast, but no, no, no. I was never a demon. No. What uh, did you see with Proteus, Callie? He was small little raccoon, 
and he just tore off his skin, his little gnome skin, and became raccoon. I can I tell you know, it was a day. It was a day ago for you. I can tell you exactly what you saw. Give me an investigation check. An I can tell you exactly you. what you saw. All of no, not investigate. Give me a perception check. All of you. No, God. Uh, oh, that's twenty. Twenty-one. Hello, Amanda. First level twenty-two. There's too much that is going on for. Sir Wellington, right now, that's a total of a five. <laughs> and what was that again? I rolled a, I rolled a 21. four. 21. 21. So, Callie sees it first, but Abigail sees it next. As you're like, he tore off his skin, and you look, and there's a pile of gnome skin. Gross. <laughs> Over, and it kind of shoved to the side. But it's like, got his clothes Why? on it and everything. But they're like tattered he's and wearing torn. His... <laughs> yeah, the clothes that he's wearing right this, here. This is some Alvira but... shit. But that 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 my yeah I my skin isn't real and he takes the ring and he just starts popping it on and off on and off on <laughs> no and off not, on no and not. off. Oh my god! Is there and a bunch just, of gnome just, skins and just, just and you just down? See it, you just see it flat like flashing. Like, whoosh, 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 no, it's like whoosh, an illusion. Whoosh, whoosh. It's not even there. Yeah, but there was one pile of gnome skin. There is a pile of gnome <laughs> skin that you can both see. It's his entire like it was a bodysuit. Yes, almost. that's right over in the side to the corner there. It's not by him. Only one. It's, yeah, it's it's right where you saw hit Proteus tear off his skin, and it's lying right there. Well, oh, the only person oh, who oh, saw Proteus. Proteus. Uh huh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're, it wasn't from yeah, when so he when just took off the ring. Okay. You actually switching. looked right where it was, and Abigail followed your line of sight and saw it as well, wearing the outfit that he's wearing and everything right now, and it's right there. Oh uh, well, then I did not see it. Bloodied and everything. No, you have not seen it. It's behind you. <laughs> okay, I'm not paying attention. This. So that has not uh, that, this has not happened gross. yet. Gross. But why do you say he's a demon? Do you pick it up? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so imagine you see your gnome form, bloodied and hanging there, kind of torn up. What the? What the? No, no. What? What? Oh, oh, that is so wrong. That is so wrong. Wait, I, uh, what the, where did that come scared. from? Can I go snatch why it? Do you have, why do you have a skin suit of my of my of my of my gnome self? I don't know. My gnome self isn't even real. Look, and he starts going. I'm just flickering in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. I told you, Proteus, tore off his skin. Why are we creating it? Still being here. Why is someone pretending to be me? Would Kelly let Abigail take options. it? Yeah, I just don't. I don't want to touch this anymore. She's going to inspect it. it thoroughly. She does not care. Gross. <laughs> it doesn't care. It used to be yummy. <sighs> You're literally just Burr. looking through the, through the feathers of a, of a deplucked chicken right after eating it. Yeah. Uh, yeah whatever. Just going to make it to a pillow. Fine. She's gonna like thoroughly inspect it, like in and out. Does not care. And she's gonna ask Callie, Matt, "Why do you say it was a demon? Oh. It acted like one. I'm. I don't know if it actually was, but the shit it was doing was could only be described as demonic." Okay, so look, the reason I have this ring. And and he takes it off again. He's like, because the way I ended up here. Well, I don't know how exactly how I ended up here, but it seems like it was some weird ritual that these like cultists were doing. And uh um and then I appeared and they're like, look at the little dragoon guy, we're gonna kill him. Blah, 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 blah. And if it, it scared me, and there was a lot of them, and so I ran away. And as I was running away, I grabbed, and he he holds up the bag. He's like, I grabbed this bag, and inside the bag was the ring, and then the book that I have learned spells from, and then I uh, found that the ring made me look more human, and that made me more accepted by people because they started freaking out when they saw a like a little talking raccoon with the horn. And it was not cool. And I did not like being 
treated weirdly. And so I started wearing it and then and then I was in the town where we got on the ship and while I was there there was like this food that I saw and I was like, "Oh my goodness, that looks so good." And it was called a beef wellington. And I really, I wanted to try it. And I heard that the best one was where the ship was going. But then there was a day where I was out and some guards, some city guards saw me. And um, I was just talking to myself and I was not paying attention and I did not see them. And they were like, hey, who are you? And I was just saying, Beef Wellington, Beef Wellington. And so they they start, they said, oh, your name is Beef Wellington. And so then... uh then that kind of stuck with my name so i uh it is uh why i have told people that my name is sir wellington it's sir beef wellington but that's different it's just it's so we just can go with wellington um because kevin told me it's not always a good idea to tell people but you already know that you already heard him call me by the name he calls me in the fey which is ihanala and so that's okay um yeah. You're Ihanala. Do I not look like what you saw? I mean... I, ah, man. I don't know. understand anything that I'm seeing. Right, I don't trust you. Okay. I just, I'm getting bombarded with a lot of information. And what's his Proteus? So you're not a no. I don't know. Okay. If you're on a first name basis with people, do they call you beef? I, I or do they call you sir? I, I didn't think too much of it. Uh well I, I used sir because I was knighted in the in the Fey realm. And so uh By it's, who? I, well, I mean Loki thought it would be fun. You were knighted by Loki. So I'm I'm sorry, Hanala. Um, you didn't didn't see this trickster and think he wasn't an acolyte of Loki. Can't say I'm surprised. And the only thing going through my head is Corinne cannot adopt another one. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Micah being your brother. It was. I will say. Loki really thought it was funny when I told him about the demon goat I did in the in, in the town. So, wait, you've talked to Loki since Hooby Doo. Yeah, yeah. I yes. He's he's like he's like like he's like a really good friend. He's like the cool uncle. I go hang out with him sometimes when he's not super busy. Mm. That's also probably why Ovirin doesn't like me. Well, also because Ovirin does not did not like when I pulled those pranks on him that one time. But Loki thought it was really funny. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Um, yeah, that's also probably why Overin doesn't like me because he knows he can't really punish me because then Loki will be upset. Ha. Sucks for Overin. But you don't know much about that, I guess, because you never met the dude. He's not a very yeah, nice dude. Oh I, man! I kind of gathered uh, context clues that Ovarian's kind of a dick. Yeah, Marcus would probably understand better. But where is uh, Marcus? I don't know. I I I banished him as well, so he should be back here somewhere. I don't know where he is. Back here, like here, this realm here, this continent, well, this this plane. So probably where he was last. So where was he last? What area? But I know he was here. We were here. 
Oh, uh, so he's probably somewhere in the castle. Or right oh, near it. Because you 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 appeared right near the castle, but not in the castle. So it's like it's not a hundred percent where exactly you should show up, but uh probably within the like like mile radius. All I play is spellcasters, and I legitimately want to go look for my spells. I'm just gonna cast message. No, you're playing a fucking monk. I can't do that. <laughs> Cast message. I mean, I, I could try and find, find him. him. We should find him. Okay. Well, we I guess we could. Marcus. I guess we could. But we need to wait. We, we need. We need. We need. A, we need. We need. We need to. We need to wait for for uh uh. Oh God, now I'm blanking on his name. Uh. Alberion? If you're trying yeah, to remember Alberion. my name, it's Alberion, a voice from the doorway. Oh, <laughs> oh that was cool. What he is very... he, he would he would he would have known his name. I'm just I would think <laughs> yeah. he's, he's we needed to wait for doorway. Alberion. He is carrying a lot of new shit. This guy has raided some locations in this castle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do, do you do you have anything you can share? Oh, plenty. Don't worry. <laughs> Yay! I can. And I, you guys, this. you guys, you guys notice that I am not in my uh, gnome form, and Alberian's having no <laughs> problems with this. Oh, okay. Thus, insight. Mm. Inside Alberian, why he's oh, yeah. <laughs> insight. <laughs> Why is he super chill with this? <laughs> he is not phased at all. <laughs> wow, this geez, we need to stop getting super cocked. We're gonna roll in the here. Well, that did not much for me, but that was a ten. I feel like he just automatically assumes he knows, but that's a twelve. Um, that's a ten and a twelve. Mm-hmm. Yep. You don't know why, but he clearly is familiar with Sir Wellington's true form. Yeah, that's what I would assume. So uh, Abigail, actually, you're going to get this at advantage. Because you have inside advantage. information on Alberion. I do have information on... Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I I got it. I understand. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Your finger. Well, now that's in that one, but I know why. <laughs> All right. Um, it takes you a moment, but because of your background, it clicks with Abigail after a moment. She's just sitting there, kind of like, "Oh, as you recall, the fact that he had chopped off everyone's fingers at the camp night number one to make the clones of them, and uh, that means night number one he went and uh." Had raccoon the true form of the raccoon finger. <laughs> he chopped it off, finger. and there and there was still a finger there. And there and was still like, a finger there. Yeah, it didn't wait. Like minute. he chopped the finger off when he chopped the the gnome finger off, but he was holding a raccoon finger. <laughs> Horrifying. His poor fingies. I can help us find Marcus, but I promise. I you can as well. Okay. Whoever wants to do it can do it. I'm pretty sure he's going to want to kill me or something. And also, we have to go find his. From, from, from what you're saying, it sounds like uh, with uh, Kali's reaction, he may want to try and kill me too. One of one of uh, Alberian's acolytes goes over and kind of takes the skin from Kali and holds up and goes, "So you mean to tell me you this isn't you?" No. That's not me. Again, he takes the ring and starts. <laughs> As you are doing that, a blast of light flashes in the room and you get hit square in the chest. As Marcus, you come down the stairs behind Alberion and you see Sir Wellington Ihanala, Sir Wellington Ihanala, Sir Wellington Ihanala, Sir Wellington Ihanala. <laughs> transforming back and forth very rapidly right before your eyes. You heard Abigail's voice a second ago saying you're going to want to kill her, but you can't see her now. And you see Callie with a couple of, with three wizards that you thought had died months ago. Um, and 
this one well, four wizards four wizards that you thought had died months ago and a very tall very beautiful strange looking woman and callie's ex-girlfriend and that's where we're gonna end tonight's session <laughs> well we found him <laughs> <laughs> you you guys weren't talking quietly <laughs> well and matt rolled really well <laughs> So, everyone, thank you for joining us tonight. Next week, we're going to have uh, have some uh, probably PvP combat. Uh, thank you for joining us. Let's start with uh, Marcus, Mr. I thought I died, but I didn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Matt playing Marcus, the cleric who somehow keeps getting himself into shitty situations. And getting out alive. And getting out alive somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Abigail. My name is I play Abigail. Yeah, you do. Kelly. Do you want me to go before Ian? Because I do he, the shout outs. Of, he's man of the hour tonight. Okay. Well, he's, I, got I will his, do shout he's got his own shout outs tonight. Trust me. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I'm so to the internet. Callie and Legend. Uh, not Legend of Kralis. That's not what this is. Let's not it. Callie and Legends of Kralis, we're getting a crossover episode? I'm telling you, they're dead. <laughs> with it. Dad would they're like dead. it. Dad would be very confused, but he'd be down. Right. Um, Callie and Legend uh, of Lost Continent. <laughs> legendary Lost Continent. I like it. The legend the Legendary Lost Continent. Uh, come back tomorrow, and we'll be actually playing Legends of Kralis, where I won't be playing Callie. Um... We can come hang out with me, Markham, and Naz, along with our nerd dad, mm -hmm. hopefully Moth. And I forget, I forget his plug. I know his real name, but I don't want to like out him like that. It's Nico. Nico, there it is. And then hopefully someday down the road, Matt as well. Hopefully, Matt is joining us for campaign two. Unless Dad talks him that. into joining sooner, because he did mention that. Potentially. Again. But, I, I would appreciate it, but yeah. I just don't want to be like, eh, here I am. In a person. <laughs> That's you fine. mean like Naz? <laughs> <laughs> it's happened it's happened twice. We're not above doing it a third thrice. time. Thrice. Not thrice. Happened no. twice. Nope. No, only Moss. Moss. And the, oh yeah, Nico was an original. Nico was oh my god, I'm <laughs> snitching. <laughs> You're right. You he forgot. was in session one. I saw he was in session, session one with us. Don't tell me. It was forgot. you, me, and Nico who were the original three. Yep. You're I'm right. yep. snitching. No, no, not to the brother in chaos. I'm snitching to my brother in chaos. Okay. Uh, any whore. <laughs> Apparently, the man of the hour. With his yeah, this, shout outs. this has been your <laughs> lore dump episode. We've been waiting for this yeah. for what almost a year now. Right. Yeah. Well, you you and I have been plotting this for over a year now. Yep. A year and a half at this point. I am very glad I don't have to play him anymore. That was that was a rough couple of, of weeks there, where where you're playing him and then I'm playing him simultaneously. Yeah, me me DMing you like what yeah, to you, do. Yep. Yep. You you were puppeteering <laughs> me. I was I was a muppet for for about three weeks there. Um. Yeah. So. It's Ian, aka Sir Wellington slash Ihanala. Um, yeah, it's been it's been fun. I am your resident and now, as you all know, Raccoonicorn. Hi. Raccoonicorn. Uh, um, yeah. If you if you're ever interested in the Raccoonicorn, uh, that is stuff that I help create with the Cantrip cast. Um so I yeah, have definitely. I have yeah, books. and the uh all I this, the all the images book. that you were seeing were from Benji's guide to Rentucky Island, which is where, even though Sir Wellington does not necessarily know that, that is where he is from, Rentucky Island. Um, Dude, yeah, whole different dimension. Yes, ah. very fun dimension. Um, I yeah. also love how there's just you popping up. I think is it you or is it Steak that pops up? What do you mean? Like little art of either you or it's it's a nod to either you, Steak, or Brandon, and I forget forget which. 
Um, I don't think any of us are in uh what you can call it in Benji's oh. guide. Oh no, I'm thinking Codex um, of Quests. Yeah, Codex of Quests. Uh one, there's a little like wanted poster of me on the front of the book, but then also uh the back of the book has oh. me, Brandon, there and Steak is. on it. Yeah. Um yes. Um no, for those of you who watch uh, Greylist with Moss, uh Moss is in uh Benji's guide to Rentucky Island. That's who um is. yeah. Yep. He's he's got a what little uh I don't know. It's in the back. It's in the effects. Uh yeah. sec when it's going over the like effects of the island. Um but yeah. I will find him. Lots of fun stuff there. If you ever want some goofy fun stuff for all ages for D. &D uh we very much try to keep things lighthearted and family friendly because Although you know that what right there is it, a biblically it, correct angel holy cow yeah <laughs> um it is it is we view it as it is easier to make the lighthearted goofy uh into horror instead of versus vice versa like uh it's harder to make strahd a cute fun person but it is easy to make the vampire into strahd so or Ren oh. Spooky. Yes. I'm going to have to... Oh, that thing. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, join us again tomorrow. Uh, we will be having a lot more chaos. And... Oh, yeah. Might be having a shopping trip. Might not be. We'll see. Um, we'll be picking up where we left off in Lithia uh, for Legends of Kralos tomorrow. Uh, they also have... Uh, what is it? The Marigold Matriarchy or something like that? I think that's on Saturdays now. Moonlight? Moonlight Matriarchy. Thank you. Moonlight Matriarchy. Marigold. They're Marigolds. Um, Mondays is Iwin Adventures. Tuesdays is State of the Union. Thursdays you have us here with Lost Content. And then Fridays, Legends of Kralis. So, uh, check it out. A lot of fun stuff. And, um, happy... Praise the Lord, yes, Born Stellar. Um, <clears throat> happy affiliate anniversary to our yeah, wonderful yeah. friends here at Dean Denial. That's amazing. <clears throat> so you guys stay safe, stay lost, and um, we'll just just take care of everybody.